Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to do part 9, I believe it's part 9, to my let's play of Family Feud 2021 edition for a Nintendo Switch. Now guys, um, before I actually start with this video, there actually is a few very crucial announcements that I want to go ahead and make to you guys. Let me go ahead and let you know right now, I really need you to listen to these announcements. Please do not take the time to skip them. Please listen. Because these actually got to do with stuff that's coming up on my channel and stuff that are going to start happening that's new. Whether it be new projects, which you guys may not sound too important since it's just going to be a bunch of redone games. However, well, there's a few things I got to talk about. There's an announcement I gotta make about YouTube real quick. There's an announcement I have to make about um one of my projects that I done a few months ago but then never continued. And there's also another announcement I have to make about a project potentially coming up in the next coming months. It won't be the next few weeks or next month that this happens, but there's a chance that there'll be a special project coming up pretty soon that I'll talk about like before I about the time I get done with these announcements. First off, guys, let me go ahead and tell you. Let me actually do something. Okay, no, I'm sorry, guys. I was just making sure everything was good. I, I made sure the brightness and everything was good on this thing. But, um, let me go ahead and get into the first announcement. That being about YouTube. Guys, as you know, um, I don't know if any of you guys were around when this happened. But about five or six days ago, or about a week ago, I actually put a video on YouTube that was called Test Editing. Basically guys, I was using that video that I made to test to see if I can do stuff like edit stuff down. Like if something was too long or too stupid, I could actually trim the video down to where it ain't as long and all that stuff and ain't as boring. Or if I want to do some other things like maybe know how to add um, like the little, uh, the little cards that show up in the top corners of videos and all that stuff. Well, you may, if you guys never saw that, for those that don't know, that's exactly what I did about a week ago. I, I made an announcement video and then went on YouTube, uploaded it on YouTube to see if I can learn how to edit stuff. And, uh, I do have a verdict real quickly on how that actually turned out. I know how to do some stuff better on YouTube now. I know how to edit, like, my, I know how to make an end screen for my videos, even if it ain't the best end screen. Um, I know how to make an end screen for the videos, and so, um, let me go and let you know, guys, that's what will be happening at the end of this video. I did try to learn how the video, how to trim the videos down, but honestly, that's still confusing to me, and I'll probably have to take a few more days to learn how to do that. I'm still confused on how to complete edit a, or trim a video down, so I'll, I'll have to figure out a way to actually do all of that. So, yeah. The big announcement about YouTube is, starting this video guys, you will start seeing an end screen at the end of my videos, and that will probably happen for every video that I do. Even if it gets added on a little bit later, you should still start seeing an end screen coming up on all my videos. Second of all guys, I guess I want to try to get these very quickly, but they are very important, so please listen. I actually got to make an announcement about my fourth project redemption attempt of Pokemon Sun that's on my Nintendo DS or for the Nintendo 3DS I mean for those that don't know I actually did a project of that game probably about two three four months ago and then never continued it again guys if I ever get the time to do it again I promise you, we will be coming back to doing Pokemon Sun and Moon again. I actually did do some pretty important stuff off camera. I did trim my Pokemon a little bit. Don't worry guys, it's not much. Only some of my Pokemon went up by one level. That's legitimately it. But, um, I did do some important stuff off camera. Mainly me petting my Pokemon and trying to make them feel special and loved. And that way they don't feel like they're being ignored. However, there was something that was kind of crucial. Well, I don't know if it was really crucial, but there's something I actually did that you guys never saw. I wish I would record this part, 
unfortunately, I thought it would, I didn't think it would actually work out to be the very best at all if I did that, because I don't know how, I didn't know how long it would take for me to even do the thing I wanted to record. For those that don't know, I went with petting my Pokemon and occasionally trained them up a little bit. I actually did finally replace one of my Pokemon teammates with somebody else. It may seem dumb since the point I've used most likely might be falling way behind. However guys, off camera, sometime yesterday, I actually did go back in the a Desert on the second, second island, I believe, second or third island. Maybe the fourth island, I don't remember which island it's on. But in that desert where you can find sand dials and trepinches and all that stuff, I went inside there. And I went there at night time. At night time, guys. Well, let me explain. During the daytime, it's always sunny. At night time, it's always sandstorming. That's actually very important for the thing that I did. Well, um, let me go ahead and explain first off, guys, why I did this. The reason why I replaced a teammate is because this Pokemon particularly just freaked the snot out of me. Like, he was a cool... He w let me go and say this, he was a cool legendary, however, the stuff in Pokemon Fresh freaked the snot out of me in that. If you don't know who I'm talking about by this point, I'm talking about Nebby. I like ne Nebby, er, no, Solgaleo, compared to Lunala to me, is definitely better. However, it's the creepiness factor that kind of fits into that. There's a few things I find very creepy about that. For one... When the Pokemon is sleeping, I don't know why, but some little, some, there's always little stuff that'll always freak me out. And that's one thing that I always did. When he sleeps, like, it, it just freaked me out how it almost looked like he had no eyes. Yeah, he had them little lines to show you his eyes were closed, but to me, I know it sounds dumb to you guys, but it was very freaky to me. And along with that, every time you're, every time he'd be happy, it was very creepy to me how he didn't have a tongue or basically teeth. So every time he'd open his mouth, it basically freaked the snot out of me. No, my other point do that because clearly they have teeth. And if they didn't, like I said, they have a tongue. Like, freak me. I know it may sound weird to you guys, but it'd be the same way for any other Pokemon. If Feralia Ramley did not have a tongue or teeth, he would probably be one of the creepiest Pokemon to be petting. But because he does, and he's so super duper cute, um, he's he's fun to pet. However, guys, I want to get back to what I was actually talking about. Because of the creepiness factor of how Nebby was, I actually did replace him with another Pokemon. Unfortunately, this Pokemon's like 40 levels behind us all right now, which is not good. However, if I can make time to start, if I can make time to start doing videos again, and to be able to see if I can get things to work out, maybe I'll be able to give them attention. For you guys that don't know, let me go ahead and give you a hint. I had to, let me go ahead and give you a hint for you guys that maybe would know the Pokemon inside the Honey on a Desert. Hint number one is the fact that I had to do this at night when it was sandstorming. The point I want, need, or the point I got. Or the point you need to actually have during a sandstorm. Hit number two, it had to be an SOS encounter. So I had to, I had, actually, I had to actually look for a particular Pokemon. I had to go, to, I had to go look for a sand dial, and then have to wait for this Pokemon to be SOS called, which probably took me about 20, 30 minutes to get him to show up. So yeah, can you guys get a hint from that? Let me go ahead and tell you and not waste time. Go ahead and take your guesses right now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. The Pokemon that I replaced with Nebby and spent all that time in the honey on a desert trying to find him is Shredder. No, I'm sorry, that's the nickname I gave her. It was a good bite, guys. That's right. I'm going to have me a guard chomp eventually in the game. I know it may, it may seem definitely not done that sooner, but you don't get a point like that till way later on. And while this may put me at a big disadvantage because one, now I don't have any steel moves for fairy Pokemon, and two, um, 
I have three dragons now, which means I have even more of a weakness to stuff. Like, I, I have even more of a weakness to, like, fairy and all that stuff. Um, like I said, guys, I just thought Nebby was very freaking creepy. I really did. Nebby freaked the snot out of me. He was a cool poem, but that the th two things I discussed are the things that freaked me out the most about him. So, unfortunately, he didn't get to stay on my team. I want him to, but at the same time, he just freaks me out. I am going to let you know, guys, I did get a female Gabite. Which, at first, bummed me out, but like I said, I love all porn with it. I love all... If, they're, if a porn's my favorite one, generally, I'll always love them, even if they're male or female. I'm not... Well, I don't know if I can say this on YouTube, but I will say it this way. I'm not genderist towards a Pokemon species, guys. I promise you that. I would never... Like, you can definitely tell that with Feraligator. While I prefer a male... You've seen multiple times that I'll accept any female for alligator. I love him. I love her. You know, like, they all make me happy. You know? So, yeah. Um, at first it bummed me out, but I did actually get used to it, and I, now I love her. She's actually an amazing Pokemon. And yes, because as I said a while ago, her name was Shredder. I originally had her name as Jaws. Unfortunately, well, to me, even with Goodbye being a land shark Pokemon, it still seemed too insulting to me. So I decided to change it, which I did. But yeah, guys. And along with that, there actually is one more announcement I want to go ahead and make. I said it did be an end screen at the end of this video, and hopefully it's start of every video. Um we will be continuing doing Pokemon Sun and Moon. It might just be a little while. My third and final announcement is about a project that might come up sometime after the Interrupter goes to school. For you guys that don't know, obviously, just about a month ago, my and my baby boy for alligators' three year anniversary just er, passed, right? You may think, yeah, for our three-year anniversary. Let me go and say this. Obviously, guys, it being our three-year anniversary, that means me and Fraggers have known each other for how long? Like, seriously? Does that not give you a big hint? Obviously, by the three-year anniversary, it means Fragger and me have known each other for at least three years now. Which means it's been officially three years since I did a project of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I ain't gonna promise you guys completely that it's gonna happen. However, maybe coming up in the next few months, I might do a read another I might do a redone project on Pokemon Heart Gold. The reason why I ain't thinking about doing Soul Silver again is because of the because of the Pokemon I have in there. Do you guys honestly think I'd have the heart to delete the profile? Of the Pokemon that has loved the snot out of me for years. Do you think I'm going to replace that for Alligator? No! Never, never, never. I love my baby boy, and that's why I'm not doing Heart Gold. That's why I'm not doing Soul Silver over, over Heart Gold. Yes, I won't be able to get Lugia right away, I understand that. But at the same time, do you guys honestly want me to lose my baby boy that's been with me for years? The point I sat there and made a three-year anniversary for, I'm not deleting that game. I'm not deleting that profile at, it at all. Because I love my baby. I don't want him to leave me. Yes, guys, most of the projects will basically be the same, except I probably won't be doing any grinding. Or if I do, all of it will be off-camera. Um, one of the best reasons why I haven't thought about coming back to Porn Heart Gold and Soul Silver is because of the because of the fact that I hate doing all that training. I know it was worth it because I know I kept my Pokemon safe and happy, but at the same time, I don't know if that made their stats good or bad. So there is a chance that I won't be doing any training any for the next project I might do. Understand, guys, that doing Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver is still iffy. I'm not going to promise you, I'm not going to guarantee you guys that we are going to do Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver. I'm just saying that there is a chance we could do it. But like I said, guys, even if I do pull in hard gold and soul silver, 
It's going to be months on end, because I'm going to wait until the interrupter goes to school again. Which, like I said, she's probably going to be out of school for another, like, two to three months. So, unfortunately for now, that is off the table. However, guys, I do want to actually tell you something. Let me go and tell you right now that it does bring us to the end of the announcement. The only thing I really need to discuss for this video was the end screen, the Pulling Hard Gold and Soul Silver Project, and what we're going to do about Pulling Sun and Moon. We will continue to do Sun and Moon, guys, but I think a lot of it from now on will probably be the Elite Four and the Champion trying to catch up everybody. Especially Goodbye. Baragir and Haxorus and Salamence and all that stuff are actually ahead. But unfortunately, Goodbye is way behind, obviously. My baby girl Goodbye is way behind, so we are going to try to catch her up. And yes, guys, I did go ahead, go ahead and get her to like me. I already got her fully affectionate, and I walked around, up to down, in Coney Coney City a few times, or for a good while, and got Goodbye to fully love me, which is perfect. So yes, I've got all affectionate Pokemon, and I've got all Pokemon that guarantee you love me right now. So, yeah, the only thing I hate about Goodbye is how she likes to be petted. Because the way she wants to be petted is so hard. A lot of my Pokemon don't mind, if not love, being petted on the stomach. Or like on the chest. Like Feralgear, for example. He loves being petted on the chest. I don't, I don't, it ain't his favorite spot, I don't think. But he loves, loves, loves being petted on the stomach. And he doesn't mind about it. Same thing for Pokemon like Salamence. As long as he ain't petting them on the legs, I think his legs are his least favorite part. As long as he ain't petting them on the legs, he actually likes it. He likes the head the most, but unfortunately the head's where the game could say, Oh, you smacked him! Oh, you smacked him! Because that's what the game seems to do a lot of the time. You guys have seen that during my project of Sun and Moon when I actually hurt Feralgir when I didn't do anything. I legitimately did not smack him. So I don't know what the game was assuming I did to him, but you saw that happen several times. Well, and honestly, it goes for most of my point too. Raichu, while it's a little hard to pet him, he obviously petted generally in the same area as for Alligator. Except only in a tiny little spot up there. Um, Haxorus, stomach again. Or belly sized stomach. However, Gabite's a little bit different. Gabite's fair spot is to be paid on his claws. I know it sounds weird, but you know the little sights he has for hands? Those are the places where he likes to be petted on those little claws on his hands. He does. He hates actually being petted on the stomach, which means you either gotta pet him on the claws, on the head, which as I already said with Salem, which is already kind of iffy, or you have to pet him Kind of like for kind of like uh, Salamence or Raichu, where you have one little spot like below his neck or around his neck that he likes to be pet at, and if you don't pet there, he's gonna hate it. I've already tried petting him on the claws, guys, and what works sometimes. Um, I accidentally hurt Goodbye when I first got her. Well, not when I first got her back to petting her for a while, I did accidentally hurt her because of how the if he was, she likes to be petted. I ain't gonna blame that. I ain't gonna blame that on her. But at the same time, the way my touchscreen on my 3DS is, it's very hard to be able to risk trying to do that. So yeah, I don't know when Point Sun and Moon will be coming back, but I will be trying to do it again. So yeah. I actually really want to do Point Heart Gold and Soul Silver again. Unfortunately, I cannot change up my team. I could change my starter, but what do you guys think? You guys think I'm honestly going to change my starter? No! Feralgir is my son or daughter. I'm not leaving his side. Heck, I may even take the time off camera if I'm not going to train them up. I might take the time off camera just to walk around with my Pokemon to left to right, up to down. That way I can have Toadile loving me before he even becomes Croconaw. I don't completely know for sure what's going to end up happening. I would, if I do decide to do Point, if I decide to do Point Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I don't know completely how it's going to turn out. 
I'll have to see, guys. Like I said, it's all a little bit iffy, but I'm hoping things will work out. By the way, guys, I'm actually recording this pretty early as well. Right now, as I'm speaking, it's only 2.03 in the afternoon on the date of Friday, June 10th, 2022. So, yeah. However, guys, I'm not going to waste any more time because I did get the announcement out of the way and it still took me about 20 minutes. So, with that said, guys, I worry about the brightness in a few minutes. I think it's good the way it is, but again, if it needs to be turned up or down, I'll fix that whenever necessary. For now, guys, I'm not going to waste any more time. It's time to play Family Feud 2021 Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Holy crap, Dragon Knight and Garchomp. I just talked about Goodbye. Now look who shows up on the screen on the bottom. That's kind of funny. Okay. Let me go and let you know, guys. My biggest worry about this entire video is whether it's going to record sound or not. Well, like I said, my old computer never records sound. And while I've never had a problem like that for this computer, um, I've always been paranoid ever since I started, ever since I've started using this computer. Because while it's as good as my old one is when it comes to recording, I'm still worried that it's going to do the same thing as my computer did. Whether it be stop recording audio randomly, or, uh, randomly followed that message that says I went, a, a, a device was found or something like that, and do you want to use it? So, yeah, I don't know completely for sure. Stay on for a second, you piece of crap. Gosh dang. But, yeah. Because, uh, that didn't take long. Let me go ahead and return on. Okay, I'm going to see if you can see this. You can see it pretty fine for now. Alright. But anyway, guys. We're going to go ahead and start. Playing. Ah. Okay, wait. Got it. Ha! In your face! Stupid controller. And as, as you can see right there. As you saw before I even pulled up that menu, guys. You saw that Wheel of Fortune was before Family Feud. There is a reason for that. I was originally going to do a game of Wheel of Fortune for you guys too, sometime after the last session of Family Feud I did. Unfortunately, I had so much problems with my controller that I just had to cancel that video. I'm serious, I had so much problems with my controller not wanting to do what I needed it to do. And not working at times whenever I needed it to. Like it legitimately stopped moving. So, yeah. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do about that. But anyway, guys, for this thing cuts off again, I'm going to go ahead and play Family Feud. You guys know how everything is. I'm giving you a warning right now. Please cover your ears, because after the first screen that comes up, there'll be something loud. So, yeah, obviously it's the same part that's always loud. I did promise you guys a fam I mean a Pokemon video. I promise you guys a Pokemon video is coming up. I just expect myself to come up here a little bit more than I did. I guess I haven't been up here in probably around five to six days now. So I'm sorry about not being up here. Alright. Let me just go and say it right now. I am very sorry. But yeah. Anyway, with that said, it's about time to play the family feud. Get ready to cover your ears, guys. There we go. Got it. This part's a little bit loud too, but compared to the other one, not nearly as much. So, yeah, guys. But anyway, it's time to play the Family Feud, y'all. Here we go. And yeah, you can see it. So that's perfect. Actually, what's even better is like during the daytime that he does it at night. That's actually pretty cool. But before I end up getting copyrighted, guys, I am going to go ahead and click the play button. Because I don't know what I'm talking about, I had to trim my part during the last video because of the fact that I, because of the fact that I got copyrighted for the music. Um, I got copyrighted for the part where I went downstairs to get me something to drink and all that stuff. I had to cut that out because of the fact that, well, I had problems with everything because of the YouTube copyright thing. So, yeah. But, 
Anyway, guys, I'm not gonna waste any time. We're gonna play some Family Feud. Unfortunately, we can't do too much anything different. So I don't have any online modes. I can't try to play against somebody online. But that's alright. Let's go to Classic Game, and we're gonna play the Family Feud the best we can. Single player, me, and then I'm, I'm done. Don't even add anybody else. Yep, it's my family. We, we may go to the very hard eventually, guys. But for now, again, you know, let's start out. Let's do like we always, like we've been doing for every video so far, or at least most of them. And let's start out on easy and maybe go up and with me later on. Let's go against the Lee family. All right, guys. With that said, it's time to get introduced to Lucky McCoy. I about said Steve Harvey, and I about said Sparky Whitmore. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the announcer's gonna talk, so I want to shut up now. Here we go, guys. Let's play Family Feud. Have you got that Friday feeling? It's time for some Family Feud! Okay, thank you so much. I'm your man, Lucky McCoy. Hi, Lucky McCoy. Are you ready to meet our families? Yes! Somebody's going it alone today. Don't worry, friend. I've got your back. Thank you, Lucky McCoy. Please welcome the Lee family! No way, suck ball! You want to know how to play the feud? Yes. It's very simple. We've surveyed 100 people. And you need to guess the answers they've come up with to our questions. The team that does the best goes on to play Fast Money and has the chance to win 20,000 bucks. Now that we're all here, how about we play some Family Feud? Yes! We're going to start with the face-off. Let's go. I need two people up front. I'm ready to play the feud, Lucky McCoy. Let's go. Here we go, baby. We've got four answers to find. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them... What? Name something in your refrigerator that you should thank a cow for. Milk. A lot of, those are good bad things. Milk. Ah, I thought I pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. That's a good answer, Uncle McCoy. Our survey says... Milk. Yeah! That's the number one answer. Do you want to play or pass? This actually might be pretty easy. Lucky McCoy, I'll play the feud. I hope you've got some more answers for us. We're playing. I do have a few. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Jeez. Jeez. Are you sure about that? Yes. Let's see if you're right. Cheese. Perfect. Nice job. Yeah. Sour cream. Yogurt. Two answers remain. Uh, sour cream. Good. Okay. Is that one of the remaining answers? Sour cream. That wasn't there. You hear that noise? That's a strike. That's okay. Oh, yogurt. What else is in the refrigerator? Name something in your refrigerator that you should thank a cow for. Beef. That's another good one. I'll try yogurt first. Okay, then. Let's see if the board's got it. Yogurt. I'll be flipping. I've got another strike on the board. Beef. Because that's basically, that's a maple. You got now. another answer? Dead gum! The answer I, all the games that I had are gone. 
The two are part up there and the other one's dead. B. Yeah. Yes. Did our survey say it? B. Thank you. We're still clinging to this game. I don't know the last one now because all the other ones I had are gone. It's all up to you now. No pressure. But if you miss this, yeah. that's all she wrote. No pressure. Thanks, Lucky McCoy. Oh my gosh. The only answers I had were. Oh my gosh. What else is in the refrigerator that's made out of something for, or has something for cows? Oh, that's why I didn't think. Mm. I don't know. Would it be. I don't know if it's in your refrigerator. I'll see if ice cream will pop up. That's good. Show me that answer. Uh, ice cream. I don't know what that last one is. Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. Please don't steal. Uh, now it's the other family's turn to take a crack at it. If you get this, I'm going to be... Won't you be an obvious answer? All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. Name something in your refrigerator that you should thank a cow for. I don't remember what the last one is. What? Yeah. No! Time to check the board. That's a bat. Jelly. Uh, Je that's not it. Yeah! And we got ourselves a winner. That leaves just one answer to reveal. The fourth answer. What is that last one? Butter. Frick! What are those scores doing? Right now I'm in the lead, but that's only the first round. Only one round down, there's still everything to play for. Oh, frick yeah. Screw you, the Lee family. You suck booty. Let's play another game. I'm going to need one person from both families to join me up here. Let's play the feud. We're looking for seven answers this time. That's a lot more. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. What is it? Complete this sentence. I have nothing to what? You got in first. Lose. I have nothing to lose. All right, let's try it. Could it be there? Moves! I wouldn't. <laughs> You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. I'm on surprise. I have nothing to. Got a guess ready? Because I'm gonna need one. Fear. Nice. Dang it. Our survey says. That's up there. Fear. It's lower. It's there, but it can't be the other answer. Pass or play? Ah, uh, I have no clue. Uh, I'm playing. Wow, they must feel good about this one. They're going to play again. I have no clue. But I'm, I won't be to come up with an answer if I let them pass it. If Are I you pass ready? I need an answer from you. I have no clue. I have nothing to... win? I'm not going Cook? I have nothing to cook. Computer. Compare. I'll put comment. Frick it. That's what you think, huh? I have no clue, Oki McCoy. Did anyone in the survey say this? If it's not on the board, you get a strike. I have no clue. I know I played Lucky McCoy, but I did it so I wouldn't have to come up with an answer to see. Do you have an answer for us? I wouldn't know. Like I have nothing to lose. It's the only good one I had in my head. I have nothing to troll. No. Dry. No. I have nothing to dream. Sleep. I'm just putting slam. Frick it. Sure thing. I'm sorry. 
Is that answer good enough? Who said boo? Sled. <laughs> Who said boo? Oh no, you struck out again. No, you did. You're right. Dig deep and think of an answer. I have no clue. I have nothing to lose. It's the only one I can think of. Fear? They can go with that one. I don't know what he meant for that last one. I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. I always say when he points up there. Oh, ho, ho. Like my friend Al Capone used to say, I'd rather family has a chance to steal. I right, this ain't gonna work, man. I'm gonna lose. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. Please don't. Complete this sentence. I have nothing to what? Lose and fear the only two I have. I have nothing to work. Answer accepted. Crap! Let's see if that's a good answer. Where? You know the score. Frick! Congratulations! <sighs> Are you ready to see the rest of the answers? Here's what you missed under number six. Hi! Frick! The fifth answer is... I should have thought of that one! Give! We want to see three. Hide and where? Two. Ah! Number two. Time to show yourself. Say. Dad, got it. All right. Let's see where we're at. I should keep with like four or five of those. Things have tightened up a little on the leaderboard. Not, not by much though. Let's go ahead by what eighty-three. I think it is. Because it's time for the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? You got it, Lucky McCoy. Let's play the feud. <laughs> nice to meet you, lady. Good luck to you. There are four answers you need to find. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Which is? Name something you do in your sleep that might wake you up. Think you got something? Snore, dream, that could be a good bit of things. If I would stop, I have an idea, please stop. Okay, snore. We have an answer. Our survey said, snore. We're on top. What's it gonna be? Play or pass? Uh, this could be dangerous. Pass. Seems like they want to swerve this one. You folks are playing. This might be the worst decision I've ever made, but if they'll take my one answer. Should be good. I'm gonna need your guess. What should be the first one they take? That's what. Interesting answer. I tried to. Did any of our 100 people say it? Nightmare! Wow! Strike one! Two more and you're out! Please don't take away the one I have! You got anything for us? This could backfire for my one I answer. Oh! Uh, yes! Dang it! There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Yes. Sleepwalk! Ding! This is bottom survey. Good job! It's the bottom of survey, but it's there. There's two answers still up there. What do you got for me? Oh. I see where you're going with this. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Yes. Fall! Dang. Look at that beautiful board. Almost full. Oh my. Aha! Name something you do in your sleep that might wake you up. Please don't take the one answer I have. Pass. Alrighty then. Pass win. And is that the answer we need? Pass win. Ouch. Another strike. Come on. Just don't forget the last answer and I got it. One more strike and the other family gets to try for a steal. 
Wow. Here we go then. And what did our survey say? Wow. Okay. Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. I'm gonna try talk. The yeah. other family has a chance. I'm gonna try to talk. I'm gonna try talk. That's the only one I can think of besides dream. If you wanna steal this round? You need to find me a missing answer. Give me an answer. And if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one and, uh, well, you know. I ain't doing anything. There. Talk. Got it. Time to find out if it's up there. Talk. I don't know what that last one did. That's not what we're looking for. You win, so the points go over here. This sucks. There's just one answer we didn't find. The number two answer is... Caught. Oh. Shall we take a look at the scores? He didn't even say anything about that. Well, I gotta get this. Now, let's do the face-off. Alright, give me two people. I need to get this round. I wasn't want to lose. We've got five answers up on the board. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We asked a hundred people the following. Name something you tease your spouse about that they don't think is so funny. <laughs> you bust in first. I don't have an idea. Feeling lucky? Let's run with it. Parents. Okay. It's on the board. What we could do better. Marriage. What answer do you have for us this time? I don't know if mine's gonna be up there. This is hard. Oh my gosh. Vacation? I have no clue, man. I want money! Money, 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 money. Oh my gosh! I don't want to just do that. I can't find it. I don't know. Is it up there? It's in the cafe. Uh. Oh dear. I have no clue. So, are you gonna play or pass? This is a hard one for me. What well, they want to pass? I don't know anything either. So, the top answer is still up there. Let's hope the rest of this family got this. I hope not. I don't know what they just did. I don't know anything. What do you think? <laughs> That's your answer. Is it there? Friends. It's not there, which means you get a strike. Ouch. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Understood. Do we have a right answer? Taste the music. Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. I have no clue. I sure with this one. Name something you tease your spouse about that they don't think is so funny. Excellent. It's worth a shot. Do we have it? Wait. Exit. I'm having an idea. You're still in this. I may have an idea. If you get this, the money in the bank is yours. If not, the other family might steal it. Say it with confidence. Name. Could it be up there? Oh, Let's no. find out. No. Name. Three strikes. Oh. oh. 
our other family has a chance to steal. I will try cheating or a cheater. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. And that doesn't want my proposal. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. Even if I did, it wouldn't be much more great. I can't win with the points on the board, which is good. Let's try to Come on. There we go. Okay, what about proposal? My gosh. Holiday. I'm just gonna go with that. I have no clue. That's what you're going with? I have no clue about this one. What did our survey say? Holiday. Those are the different ones I've been seeing. You blown it! I have no clue. This round goes to you! But you knew that, didn't you? Fuck off. You missed some answers. Let's see what they are. I wouldn't know. Number five. What are you? Age. Uh, Answer number two. Where are you? Cooking. What was the top answer? Looks. Uh, take care of it. Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. We need. We need a. We need a scenario. Stick around, folks. No one's reached the magic 300, so we get to play another round. Oh no, I need to win sudden death. Now! The winning team needs to hit 300 points. It's time to decide this game. Batten down the hatches. It's time for a sudden death. Give me an easy sudden death question. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. Please give me an easy sudden death question. <laughs> This is gonna suck for me. All we need is the top answer. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at finding the answer. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a chance. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something that spreads quickly. Your fingers are on fire. Sickness, my virus, that word. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Germs! There we go. Excellent job. You did it! You've done it! All by yourself, too. Thank goodness. Time to say so long to the leaves. Oh my gosh, I got so lucky to win this game! because you're about to play fast money. All right, my lonesome lovely, since you didn't bring anyone with you, you're gonna have to answer these questions twice. I've got five questions for you. Give me the most popular answers to pile up the points. Since you're all alone, you'll be answering twice. You need to get 200 points or more to bring home the top prize. Your time starts now. All right. Name something the cat might drag in. Uh, a dead animal. I'll type in mouse. Maybe a mouse. Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. I wouldn't know. A sweet potato. Uh... Pass it. Name a country that likes U.S. tourists' dollars, but not U.S. tourists. China? Tell me a gift your company might give you when you retire. I'll pass that one too for now. Name somewhere married couples go together. A restaurant. Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. A bass? A piranha? <laughs> shark? I don't like it. I'm a shark considered. I'm gonna try a shark then. Shrimp. Shrimp. Shark. Tell me a gift 
your company might give you when you retire. Mm. Uh, We're all questioned out. I have uh, some of these are just freaking difficult, man. All right, let's see if you can bring this to the finish line. Time to step it up a gear. You're gonna answer them all again, but this time with different answers. I'm not getting this money. Your time begins now. Name something the cat might drag in. Uh... Oh my gosh. String? Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. Pass. Name a country that likes U.S. tourist dollars, but not U.S. tourists. I wonder if Tell me a gift your company might give you when you retire. Uh, no. Name somewhere married couples go together. A park? A fair? Parents' house. Party. Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. Starfish. Let me see fish. Stingray. Cricket. Tell me a gift your company might give you when you retire. Uh, I just put party. A painting. Come on, picture. Not that kind of picture. Picture. I'm always having money, 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 money. That's everything. I'm not gonna get the twenty thousand for this one. That's all the answers you can get. Well done. That was hard. Okay, let's find out how you did. It's not gonna work out. For our first question, we asked, name something the cat might drag in. Let's remind everyone what you said. Those look like some mighty fine answers. Mouse might be. Yeah. Number one answer. Dang, string had something. Our second question was. 69 right now. Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. And your answers. You should feel confident with these answers. Maybe the first one, but. That's a mighty fine answer and one that's, let's just say, move on, shall we? Carp. That was the top answer. I was thinking cards. The next too. question. Name a country that likes U.S. tourist dollars, but not U.S. tourists. You said. You ought to be happy with those answers. Mm. Both answers are in the points. Not much. France. I still need 102. That was our top answer. I still need 102. We asked you. Tell me a gift your company might give you when you retire. This is what you said. There is no... Let's reveal what these are worth. One of those answers is clearly better than the other. So, the top answer... Time piece! Oh dear. For the final question, we wanted to know... Name somewhere married couples go together. Restaurant is a good one. The answers to this one... I need a final survey says. 182. I mean, eight. oh, that's a shame. Dang it. No, Unfortunately, no, no. you didn't do well enough to win that jackpot. <laughs> Don't sweat it. You might not have won the big prize, but you've still got a good chunk of change to take home with you. We'll multiply the points you've won and give you the total. <laughs> Thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. Man, that really did not work out for me. Should we 
Ricky Blake? Yes. We're going to try it again. Let's see if I can win the $20,000 this time. We're going around again. Hey there, folks. Did you take off early today? Because you're just in time for Family Feud. I'm not going anywhere. Lucky is here to stay. Let's remind ourselves who's playing. I won the crown, but didn't get the money. The championship money, whatever. 20,000. And defending their crown. Me. Only by sudden death, though. They're going to bounce back in this game. Let's hope not. You've got this down, but a quick recap. I give you a survey, and you tell me what answers you think are popular. Okay, let's play Family Feud. Let's do it. It's time to go head to head. It's the face off. All right. Someone from each family, get up here and play. Yeah, baby, let's play the feud. The top five answers are on the board. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. In our survey, we asked 100 people, instead of apples, what might people bob for at a billionaire's Halloween party? You're first on the buzzer. What might, you got? Might sound dumb, but what about money? Okie dokie. Let's see if it's up there. Money. Top answer. Yes. The decision is yours. Will you play or pass? Hmm. I'll try it. We're on the lookout for another win. Let's get to it. I don't know much. Maybe gold bars. We need another answer from you. Chocolate? I don't know, chocolate in the world. Gold. All right. Is it on the board? Gold. Hey. That's a good one. Nice work. Hmm. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. I have no clue past that. Lottery tickets? No, what? This could be. Uh, I'll try it. Lobsters. Okay, sure. Is that one of the ones we've got left? Lobsters. So can they try pinching your nose? Yeah. I think it's, uh, that's your first strike. Two more and you're done. I have no more. That's the problem. Uh, what do you think? We need another answer. Oh, oh my gosh. Poison. Can I just have another fruit like pears? Pearls? Pearls! Oh, okay. Let's check the board. Diamonds! There we go. That's a good one. Instead of apples, what might people bob for at a billionaire's Halloween party? Halloween party? Wait, I didn't even think about even being a Halloween party. Just candy. Or not. I didn't think Kane would be up there. Okay. I have no clue. Are you sure about that? No, I'm sorry, dude. Will that be one of the missing answers? 
What else? Two strikes. Our other family need to get ready to steal. Oh. Diamonds. One more strike, and you're in trouble. Can I bring jewelry? I mean, I can't put the stone wood in. I can try, but don't I think of now. That's good. good. Okay. I should try close shit. I want to see that answer. Okay, no. Jewelry. That's all. Yeah, I thought it was going to go. Oh no, that's strike three. The right part of his diamonds. It's time for the other team to have a crack at this. I have no clue what that was on my team. Oh, that was my team. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Okay then. Crap! The survey says... Caviar! You've done it! I know it! It's a win over here! I... Let's take a look at that one remaining answer. You know, I can't even think what it could be. What does the fifth answer look like? Fabergé eggs! I don't know what that is. How are those scores looking? Bad for me. We've still got plenty of game to go. Frick you, ladies. It's time for the face off. I need two players down in front. You know what's fun? I've heard of caviar too. Top four answers up on the board. I've heard about what you to buzz in when you have an answer. I, I know, man. We took a survey. 100 people. Name something a person might be referring to when they say, I got me a good one. You're in first. Job. Good. Yes. Did our survey agree? Job. Are you serious? That's incorrect. Okay, forget what just happened. Let's try something else. That's good. Oh. Show me the answer. Car. That's number one. No, it's up there, though. We found an answer. Time to decide. Play or pass. Oh, this sucks for me. Most of them want to pass it. Oh, it's all right. I guess they don't like the look of this one. That's a hard pass over to you. You can do it. What do you think? House. Oh. Yep. Let's see if it's there. Home. Are you serious? That's going to put a dent in your game. I mean, it's only two points to begin with. That's the problem. Um. Guess what? We need an answer. Might we referring to maybe a uh, pet? All right. Let's try it. Let's see what the survey says. Pet. Dude. Boom. Oh, it's another strike. Name something a person might be referring to when they say, I got me a good one. Spouse, maybe? Nice! And our survey says, Spouse! There we go. Nice, you, you've still got a chance. Whoa! Whoa! Time to search your mind for an answer. I have no clue. What I'm gonna have a book. Ah ha ha. That's what you think. 
think, huh? Please, you two don't have any down for this. Is it up there? Show me! That's not gonna be up there. Guns! Wait, main muscles! That's three! I'm Looks like the other family has a chance to steal. I'm surprised I got that. I'm surprised that one was up there. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. Find a good answer, and you'll get all the points. Sure thing. Survey says... Maybe. Fish. Fish. Dang. You cracked it. Yeah. Way to stretch out that lead. Oh, no. There's only one answer left over. Let's see what's behind number three. Fruit. How much was it now? Let's take a look at the current scores. I am falling way behind, man. Hope you all can get some points on the board next round. Yeah, me too. I must have spoken a bit more again. It's time for a face-off. Give me an easy question. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. Please give me an easy question. Like, dear me. I'm not going to go with me, I'm failing this bout in the Lee family already. It's a full board. We're going to need eight answers. Time to take it to the next level with double points. Okay. We asked 100 people this question. Name something some married couples prefer to keep separate. Your first. Oh my gosh. Money. Answer accepted. Our survey said money. Wowie number one. Decision time. Will you play or pass? Not seem bad about your I'll play it. Oh, I hope you can bounce back after that last round. Here we go. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Not all married couples live in the same house and try home again. We have an answer. Let's see it. House. There it is. Ah. Car. Got another answer? Uh-huh. Great answer. Interesting answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Car. That'll do. Yes. Oh, no. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Themselves. Exes. No. Well, job would probably be something in my way. I don't know about it, man. Job. Ah, uh, yes. Let's take a look. Job. Sorry, it wasn't up there. So I'm going to have to give you your first strike. A bedroom? Name something some married couples prefer to keep separate. Bedroom. Beetroot. Bedroom. I see where you're going with this. Survey said... Bedroom. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Oh, good. Do you have an answer for us? Bathroom? Alrighty then. Our survey says... Bathroom. It's up there. Dig deep and think of an answer. For, uh, prefer to keep separate. 
Previous, previous girlfriends? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Chocolate. I'm gonna go with it. Here we go then. Is that answer up there? Chocolate. Food, please put me food. No. Another strike. Bad part is if they do get the stuff. So do you? Two strikes. Think you got it? Oh no. What about meals? I'm having meals made out the up there. Yeah. Got it. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Meals. I don't know the last one. And that's your third strike. The other team is in with a chance. If they get this, they win. If they if they don't, I'm gonna hit by Just steal the point. three points. All they've got to do is find one right answer. Name something some married couples prefer to keep separate. Please don't be up there, whatever you say. Family. Being unlucky? Oh, crap. Let's see if you're right. Yep. Family. They win. <laughs> we didn't find what we wanted. <laughs> and this round goes to you. Oh, goodness. Looks like we missed a few answers. Let's see what they were. From the bottom of the board, Holidays. Oh. What about number seven? Toothbrush. Number six? Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Hobbies. Oh, okay. Here's how things are shaping up so far. I'm winning by three points somehow. Yes, it's a big lead, but it can still change after the next round. Yeah, it came from only three points behind. I mean, ahead. Are you ready for another face-off? Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. Alright, let's play the feed. Got it, baby. The top four answers are on the board. Okay. We're upping the ante again. All questions are now worth triple. 100 people. We ask them the following. Name something that's cold and hard. Oh my gosh. You're first. What's your answer? Ice. Ice cream. Good answer. Got it. Let's see if the board's got it. Ice. That's at the tippy top of the board. It's make up your mind time. Pass or play. I hate to say it, but I'm going to try passing it. They're handing it over. This is your chance. Yeah, let's hope not. Man, they get this. Your guess, buddy. I have no, I only have one good answer. That's your answer. Cold and hard. Did our survey say it? That's probably up there. Right. Ding. I'll be darned. That's not on the board. So, you've earned yourself a strike. Go. Oh. It's your turn to guess. Understood. I guess it would be cold. Is it up there? Ding. Let's hope so. Ding. Diamond. Ding. Oh no! Other family? Oh. I'd be getting ready if I were you. Oops. Name something that's cold and hard. Oh. <laughs> It's worth a shot. That's probably up there, honestly. Is that one of the remaining answers? Stone! Ding. Yep. You're still in the game. Oh, nice. 
they may look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. You're right, you don't take my answer. People! Said with confidence. That's definitely up there. There aren't many answers left. That's definitely up there. Yes. People! That's a good one, actually. Way to stay in the game! Get another strike, and the other family will get a chance. That's what you're going with? Sorry. Show me that answer. That's definitely it. Winter! Dang! Oh my gosh! Ouch! Third strike! I don't try it. There's an opportunity to steal here. Please let ice cream be up there. Now the other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. Name something that's cold and hard. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Time to check the board. That's not it. Ice cream. That's it. family okay let's see those final scores how did I pull it off we have a winner you're the winner you get to play fast money well it's time to say goodbye to the lovely Lee family frick you you Lee family some big bucks. It's time to play Fast Money. Since you're playing alone, you'll be answering twice. Be easy for you Geminis. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need you to give me the most popular answers. You'll do it once, then we'll come back around and do it again since you're all on your own. Get more than 200 points and you're taking home the jackpot. And here we go. Tell me a word that rhymes with funky. Uh, I'll pass when your parents tell you to keep it clean, what are they referring to? Room. When you die, tell me a word starting with S you'd hope people use in your eulogy. Sincere? Yeah. Name something a clown has that's floppy. Shoes. Name something you'd love a handful of right now. Well, not me, but we'll peanuts. Tell me a word that rhymes with funky. Donkey, tonky. Stunky, that's a Pokemon, so that ain't gonna work. Ducky. Oh wait. Funky Ducky. No. Punky! Punky! We're all out of questions. Okay, we're gonna go again. Same questions. It's time to face those questions again. But this time, we want to hear some different answers. Ready? Let's start the clock. Hmm. Tell me a word that rhymes with funky. Monkey! Monkey! I don't know what. Funky monkey. I'm an idiot. When your parents tell you to keep it clean, what are they referring to? I'll come out of that one later. When you die, tell me a word starting with S you'd hope people use in your eulogy. I'll put serious. Name something a clown has that's floppy. A balloon. I don't know why I'm with that one first. My run's going nuts. Okay. Or not. Name something Perfect. you'd love a handful of right now. Popcorn? Potato chips! It's even better! 
When your parents tell you to keep it clean, what are they referring to? Keep it clean. Clothes? Clothes. That's everything. That's why I didn't get the $20,000 here either. That's it. There's nothing more we can do now. Let's hope it's good enough. How do you think you did? Let's find out. It's probably terrible, to be honest with you. First up, we wanted you to tell us... Tell me a word that rhymes with funky. This one. Here are your answers. Both of these answers are looking strong. The number one answer. There we go. Question two. When your parents tell you to keep it clean, what are they referring to? Your answers were... Two impressive answers here. Nice work. That's a top answer. Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, when you die, tell me a word starting with S you'd hope people use in your eulogy. So here's what you said. I wouldn't know the answer to this one. Those answers look good, don't they? We've got one answer in the points this time. Wondering about that top answer? Yes. Smart! Oh. On our next question, we asked, Name something a clown has that's floppy. You answered... What did our survey say? A top yeah. answer. Good going. Oh, I want 87 points. The last question. Name something you'd love a handful of right now. The answers you gave. And this is for all the marbles. Got yes! Got it. You didn't just win. You won big. Yeah. You just won twenty thousand bucks. How does that feel? That concludes the view. We'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Shall we play again? No, I would go on to a medium family, but. If I'm saying this by the lead, there's a lead, there's no way I can do that, so I'll do another one. Alright, we're having a rematch. Welcome back to Family Feud. Let's do it. It's me, Lucky McCoy, and I can't wait to get feuding again. Oh yeah. Let's play the few, baby. Let's give a big, hey, haven't we met before, to our returning families. Hoping for another win, I bet. Yep. They got second place last time. Now, they're back. With their eyes on first. You know the rules by now. Answer our surveys and try to guess the most popular answer. Yep. It's beauty time. Let's do this. It's time for another face-off. I want two people to join me over here. Let's play the speed, baby. We want three answers this time. Dang, it's not much. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Pokemon starters. Name something a firefighter might use to put out a small fire. Go for it. Oh. Okie dokie. Could it be there? Pose. Nice job, but it's not the number one answer. One look at you tells me you got the top answer. Oh yeah. All right. I'm a freaking idiot. Our survey says. That's a great answer. Fire extinguisher. We found the most popular answer. 
Is it your time to play or pass? They're going to fly it. They're passing. It's your play now. I don't know what that was. A rag? What answer do you have for us this time? Oh. What do they call them things that like you put on fire like that will catch on fire and stuff or whatever? Busy drink. Fire blanket! That's what I'm trying to think of, I think. Okay, sure. Did anyone in the survey say this? Blanket. Thank you! And that board is clear. Yes! You win this round. All right, it's time for a score update. I can't believe I got that. All right, computers, that's one round in the can. Let's see what awaits us next. In your face, you freaking what? Uh, in your face, you weed frickers! <laughs> Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. I'm going to need one person from each family to join me right now. I do want to go and tell you something else, guys, but I think I might wait till the end of this game before I do it, and I can actually talk about it while you know, Actually, oh good, I can pause it. Okay, never mind. Let me talk about this real quick, guys. It ain't going to take long, I promise y'all. The only thing I want to go and tell y'all is some else I meant to mention in the beginning is that I will eventually be going back to Brilliant Diamond as well. However, if I can figure out how to accomplish it properly, I'm actually going to try to go for an agro an Aron. I've been wanting to use Aron for a good while because I've definitely started falling in love with Agron too. Hey, if you think about it, he's kind of a rocking steel type version of for alligator. Honestly, it could probably become one of my favorite rock types if I ever figure out how to how I can implement him correctly and how I can get him to like me and all that stuff. I just want to go in real quick update you guys and tell you that when we do Brilliant Diamond, well maybe a few of us after we start doing Brilliant Diamond again, I may actually be going ahead and seeing about getting an hour on. I'm just trying to figure out how to accomplish it perfectly so I can actually he'll get a chance to fight too. So yeah. I would do kind of the same thing in um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but you can't get mo most of the people I want to try using to change up my team a little bit. You can't get till you get to the Safari Zone, and you have to have specific particular things. And it says you even have to wait like so many days before you can get them to show up. So it's like I don't know what to do in that case. I'm screwed. So our team may be basically the same, but I'll see about it. Anyway, let's go back to the few guys. I'm sorry about that. We want the top four answers to this question. Stand by your buzzers. Here we go. Yep. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name a piece of sports equipment that's made of leather. You're in first. What you got? Uh, jersey. James. Sure. Oh, okay. Is it sports equipment? Is that answer good enough? Jeans! I'm an idiot. I ain't in sports equipment. Oh, too bad. The number one answer is still up there. Mm. Name a piece of sports equipment that's made of leather. Are you sure about that? Let's see if that's a good answer. Jock strap. Sorry, it's not up there. Let's hope you've got something better. Name a piece of sports equipment that's made of leather. I have no clue. What about... I was thinking about that, but I don't know. Baseball. Baseball glove! Good. Okay. Our survey said... Baseball glove! Top answer. You won the face off, so tell me, play or pass? I won't know anything about try. We are playing over here. Might be regrettable, but we need another answer from you. What about the ball itself? Not matter whether. Stop! I saw a ball or something from here, whatever. Yeah, right here. Okay then. Did any of our 100 people say it? 
ball. There we go. Bingo. Ah. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Sports equipment. Oh no. I don't know how my horse is. I'm going to go with it. Go with it. Yes! And what did our survey say? Pommel horse! What's a pommel horse? I don't know what the frick that is. Ouch! Sorry. You've earned yourself a strike. Uh. What do you think? We need another answer. Uh huh. That wouldn't be. Um. The bear is not there. We no. The ball's already up there. Can't go with that again. Pan. I fucking highly doubt it. Oh my gosh! I have no clue, man. Darts? That's good. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Darts! That's another strike. Name a piece of sports equipment that's made of leather. Oh, come on. Stop! I'm already strong enough to find an answer here. Uh, she uses her sports equipment. I'm gonna go away. I have no idea. Yep. Is that one of the ones we've got left? Shoes! Uh, oh. This game is not over yet. Yay! One more to find. A tried jersey. Maybe shirt? No. A shower. Yes. I have no clue. Belt. That's all right. All right. Let's try it. Time to find out if it's up there. Belt. I don't know what that last one is, man. Oh no! Strike three. Every this round is getting thrown over to the other side. Every sport I could think of where males would play metal or something like that, like a baseball bat. It takes hockey. just one answer to steal and take home the points. A hockey puck, a hockey stick. You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance. But again, they're not made out of leather. Nice. What kind of sport is? Let's run with it. Saddle. Uh, I don't know what. What's a saddle? It's a steal. What's a saddle used for? You're the big winner this round. It's time to check out the current scores. Oh man, this is already a tight game. There's a change at the top of the scoreboard. Man, this is intense. Let's get things going with the face-off. I want two contestants to come and play. I actually was one thing I wanted to say to you guys. I was really trying to work past it for us too, but we forgot what it was. Oh, I told right about the beginning of the video. Han. 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 Okay. There's one more thing I want to go and say to you guys about Castle Crush. 
there will be no Castle Crush for a, while, for a good while. Because I did make it to Castle 6 off camera. And that's one of them, that's one of the castles where I can get one of the things I've always wanted in the game. That Phoenix. That Phoenix is actually available in Castle 6. I've tried everything in my power to get it. And I still haven't gotten it yet. Although this weekend's actually a legendary weekend, which means you have a better chance of finding legendary cards in chests. And I know you can actually find cards inside of the like free chest you get every four hours. However, uh I don't get lucky with anything I have. I did get a legendary card, but it's not the um chest. I mean it's not the Phoenix. So for a while, guys, there will be no castle crush. I'll be working on the game, but all I'll be doing is trying to do the game mode of the day battles. Normally, I don't do that, but you actually can't lose trophies for that if you lose, so it's alright if I lose that one. So, yeah. Plus, as to my victory chest hole, so if I can get more chance to be able to get the fence out of there. If I can get the phoenix, you'll probably start seeing castle crush again, but otherwise, no. So, yeah, so maybe for the replays that may already be on there if they're available to me. But, yeah, guys, I'm sorry about that. Let's go and get back to playing the family feud. Chris searching for seven answers. Oh, my gosh. Interested in doubling your money? Because now everything is worth twice as much. We asked 100 people, what are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? You're up first. What do you got? I'll play it in. Yeah, this. Yeah. That's what you think, huh? Is it up there? Race. Not in this survey. Let's see if we can avoid a strike this time. Hey, two mile sure You two mile range, you freak. Is it there? Politics. Way to go, sport. That's on the board. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Frick off. Okay, you're going to play. Let's see what happens. I'm so freaking dead. It's up to you now. Kids. Answer accepted. Do we have a right answer? Kids! Well, you hit the target, but it's not a bullseye. Yeah. Oh, nice! What's your answer? <laughs> we have an answer! Do we have it? Rats! Uh-oh, it's not there. And that means you've got yourself a strike. Uh -huh. All right, let's hear it. Uh -huh. Interesting answer. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Selfies. We're in the points. Oh, this freaking sucks. So what's your guess going to be? Me. Ah, uh, yes. Is he actually gonna say memes? What did our survey say? Memes. <laughs> you guys say it. Uh oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? Petition. I see where you're going with this. Petitions. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Petitions! No. Nope. That's three strikes and you're out. We could be about to witness a steal. What would be number one? I was thinking of one, but I'm number two. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, the round is yours. You could steal all the points with this answer. I took the other answer I did have, so I didn't get to use it. I'm gonna go with it. Alrighty then. Let's see if it's up there. Lines. Uh, 
No steal. They're building on their lead. Now it's time to see what you missed. Seven. Me. <laughs> In at six. One. Celebrity gossip. Want to see number three? I sure do. Pets. Really? I can't believe we couldn't find the top answer. What was it? Boo. Ah! Show me those scores. I'm losing. Looks like the lead hasn't changed. Yeah, and if I don't win this match, man, it's going to be the exact same way again. Are you ready for a face-off? Man. Can I have someone from each family join me, please? Oh my gosh, this is not good. I want you to give me four answers to this one. Alright. Now the points are worth triple, so this game is still up for grabs. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name a part of a person's body, starting with the letter T, that might be described as ugly. You're up first. The wash bags. Toes. Toenails. Toe. Here we go then. Is it on the board? Toe. There we go. It's the number one answer. Play or pass? I'll play it. You think you can do this one? Okay. T. You can do it. What do you think? Oh. Got it. Let's check the board. T. Good work. What toenails? We're still looking for two more answers. Oh. Tongue is also up there. I'll try toenails first. Feeling lucky? I want to see that answer. Toenails. Oh. It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Tommy? Uh, Name a part of a person's body, starting with the letter T, that might be described as ugly. Tommy. Yeah. Got it. The survey says, Tommy. We're nearly there. Aha. Hmm. There's only one answer remaining. Oh. I'll try tongue real quick. Yeah. That's your answer. Did our survey agree? Tom! Thank you! You found all the answers! I did enough! You've won this round! Let's take a final look at those scores. I got it. And here's our winning team. Our solo superstar is going on to fast money. The Lee family fought real hard, but unfortunately it's time to say goodbye. I love it. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. I love it. Since you don't have any teammates, you'll be playing fast money twice. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score 200 points altogether, you'll win the jackpot. Okay. Okay, let's start the clock. If you had to hide a dead body in the house, where would you put it? Mary in the backyard. 
backyard. Name something that might be growing on you. Hair. Name something that might be referred to as a dead end. Why? No, road, road, road! Name an animal that doesn't have much personality. The princess kissed the frog, and he turned into a prince, but she was surprised to find he still does what like a frog? He flies. That's it! Or is eight? No. Okay, it's time to do it all again. You need to answer the questions again, but this time make sure you say something you haven't said already. Your time starts now. If you had to hide a dead body in the house, where would you put it? Uh, I'll put basement. Name something that might be growing on you. Fungus? Name something uh. that might be referred to as a dead end. Oh, I'm gonna try a rope. I'll pass that one. Name an animal that doesn't have much personality. Rabbit. Rouse name. The princess kissed the frog, and he turned into a prince. But she was surprised to find he still does what like a frog. Kiss. Name something that might be referred to as a dead end. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna get back there, wait. Oh, there. Oh, wait. We're done. Now it popped up. I'll try that. Okay, you've done all you can. So it works. It's time to find out if you hit the jackpot. I hope so, man. Come on, Lucky McCoy, bring me some luck. For starters, we asked if you had to hide a dead body in the house, where would you put it? Your answers? I think you could be pleased with those answers. That's a top answer. Great job. Place was number one. For question two, we asked. I think we got that. Name something that might be growing on you. And here's what you said. These two are looking good. Ah. We found the most popular one. Next, we wanted to know. Name something that might be referred to as a dead end. This is how you answered. Let's see what our survey said. Yay. We've got a top answer. Okay, so far. Next up, we asked, name an animal that doesn't have much personality. This one was hard. So you said, All I need 52. I think we've got a couple of good answers there. All I need 52. Both answers scored some points. What would have been top? Sloth. Oh. The final thing we asked you was, the princess kissed the frog, and he turned into a prince, but she was surprised to find he still does what like a frog? Here's what you said. This is for all the marbles. 33. Hey. All right. I did it. You earned yourself an impressive victory. How did I do that? You get 20,000 smackers to take home with you. Now don't spend it all in one place. We'll see you next time. Until then, love your family. Don't use. Good night.
Want to give this another go? You know what? Yes. And if I do good enough, I'll move on to another family. If I do good enough, this one. We're on for a rematch. Let's go. We've got a feudathon going on today. A feudathon. I'm still here, your host, Lucky McCoy. All right, baby. Let's reintroduce our families. They triumphed last time, but can they do it again? I get lucky, I will. Looking to settle the score. You know what's going on here. You're trying to find the most popular answer to our surveys. All right. All right, computers, let's play. Let's roll. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. Let's do it. Who wants to play? Get over here. Let's go. I'm ready to find a few, baby. We have four to find on this one. Alright. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name a place in a fancy restaurant that a waiting staff might sit you if you don't give a tip. You're up! Oh my gosh, I don't know what. Understood. That's the band. Show me the answer. Next to the band. That's not a. That's awfully specific. The number one answer is still a secret. I don't want to say it now. Bathroom. It's worth a shot. Let's see if it's there. Wait. Toilet. That, my friend, is the top answer. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. This could be a bad choice, but I'll pass it. This is your big chance. Let's make the most of it. I have an idea. I just don't need them to take it away from me. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Right. Said with confidence. I'm being different. Will that be one of the missing answers? I'm not the villain. Outside. Dang. It's on the board. Yes. That's In some cases, being outside is kind of a good thing. What do you have for us? Was it too hot or too cold? Not just right. Kitchen. That's what you're going with. That's just too special. Let's see what the survey says. That's not a fair. Kitchen! No. You're doing great! Name a place in a fancy restaurant that a waiting staff might sit you if you don't give a tip. In a corner. Okay. And our survey says... In a corner! Thing. That's Ray. the final answer! So my answer wouldn't have been out there anyway. I was thinking floor! We've got a win over here! Before we move on, let's take a moment to see the current scores. I would consider Kitchen maybe being a privilege. That's just one round down. We've got so much fun left to have here. Dead dumb, dude. In the world. Play another game. Now, I hope, need a contestant from each family, please. Let's hope this round goes better. We've got five answers this time. Get those feuding fingers ready. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at the question. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. 
Name the first thing a hundred-year-old man might reach for when he wakes up. You got in first. I believe this is like a term of medicine. Yeah. Okie dokie. Is it up there? Show me. Medication. It's up there, but it's not the top answer. I need an answer. All right. Survey says newspaper. Okay. Oh, so sorry. It's not there. So what do you say? Pass or play? I don't think it'd be the best choice, but I will play this time. <laughs> Learned your lesson, huh? No passing this time around. Did he just laugh at me? Guess what? We need an answer. I like you as a host, but we don't want them making fun of me, okay? I don't like. Wait, lamp. Or not. Hot talk, then. Okay, sure. How was survey say? Laptop! That's not up there. I tried so here's your first strike. I tried to wipe, man. Time to search your mind for an answer. TV remote. TV. Glasses? Sure. Oh, okay. Let's see it. Glasses! Superb! Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Teeth? Oh, nice. Might have dentures. You sure about that? Dentures? Is that answer up there? Teeth! Dentures. Thank you. Alright. Got another answer? Alright, we fooled you. I'll try white again, but we'll pop No! Let's see. Water. Good. Okay. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Water. That's your second strike right there. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Ah. Uh. There's no way a telephone is gonna be up there. The cell phone makes the call better than this. I'll go with it, but it's not gonna be up there. Yeah. Okay then. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Three strikes. That's gonna do it for you. The other family gets a chance to steal. They better not do it either. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board. Name the first thing a hundred-year-old man might reach for when he wakes up. Yes! Let's take a look. I mean... Breakfast. Thank you. That's not the one. There we go. This family have bagged the win. Thank goodness. So what did we miss this time? Time for five. Spouse. Oh my god. The third answer is... Walking stick. Ah! Uh, 
So, where are everybody's scores at? The gap is getting smaller. That's all I'm saying. Get ready to go full Nick Cage because it's time for the face off. Give me an, is it, I need one person from each family to join me up front. Give me a, a good one, please. There's four answers for you to find. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. We asked a hundred people the following. Name a part of your own body that you'd bite. Think you got something? All right. That's good. Survey set. Wait. Arm. Let's go. Let's go again. Nobody said that one. We can do better than that, right? Yep. Our survey says hands. Okay, here goes. Sorry, but no. Tongue. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Tongue. Fingernails. Ew, toner. That'd be gross. All right, let's try it. Let's see if you're right. Tom! There we go. Oh, it's there. I was starting to worry. What's it to be? Pass or play? Might be dangerous, but I'll try it. And they're playing again. Oh, I only know one. Do you have an answer for us? Fingernails. <laughs> Nice. Let's see if the board's got it. Fingernails. And you can't do better than that. Top answer. Thank you, goodness. You've got two answers left on the board. Uh, is that a stream with Queen? No. Hair, but I don't know if you'd buy your own hair. That would be retro. That's what you think, huh? Did our survey say it? Probably not. Hair. Uh, Why don't you keep it's fighting? not up there. So this is your first strike. There's no one going to bite their toenails. That is gross. There's only two answers left up there. Oh. I can type it in, but I know for a fact it's not going to be there. There's no way. If somebody does, they are disgusting. Sure thing. Because your feet is are... Is it up there? Your Let's feet, hope so. Your feet are walking on the floor. Toenails! Yeah, but... Thank you. Ouch. We should have said it. what else would they be? Name a part of your own body that you bite. Oh. Part of your own body. Anything else under anything? They have part of my body. Oh my gosh. Um. I have no clue. I won't go with this for a round time. Answer accepted. There's no way you can like bite their eye. Show me that answer. I have no clue. Five. Ew. 
Oh, and that's an accurate. And that's three strikes. What? I always get the little bite on my body. We're going out a lifeline to the other family. And it's like bite on their tongue is a mistake most of the time. I'm not really the one that's bite their tongue. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal around. Oh, yeah. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Please don't. We have an answer. Who bites their legs? Time to check the board. No. Legs. No. Thank you. No. You've done it again. Let's see what you missed. How about number four? Cheap. Show me the second most popular answer. Again, with no. Lips. Oh my gosh. Before we start another round, let's find out who's on top. Son of a... I'm in the way, baby. Say so anything about it, so... Now, let's do the face-off. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. Let's go. All right, this round should be as easy as one, two, three. That's what we've got on the board. All right now, it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are tripled. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something customers might squeeze while they're in the grocery store. Wow. You buzzed in first. I can return now on to think of something. Interesting answer. I'm... Could it be there? Vegetables. Oh. Not there. We still have the number one answer up there, just waiting to be found. Oh my gosh. Uh, what about... Stop! Wait. Shopping cart handle, maybe. Shampoo. Sure. Ah, uh, yes. Our survey says shampoo. You're wrong. I have no idea. The top answer is still up there. I think you've got it. I see where you're going with this. Did anyone in the survey say this? Hello. Fruit. Unlucky. Let's move on. Fruit. Yeah. All righty then. Is that answer good enough? Fruit. There we go. That's the big money maker. Layer packs. What's it gonna be? I'm scared to let the inner fly. You want to take this one on? I have no clue, though. Dig deep and think of an answer. while they're in the grocery store. Food and the are simple not sweet enough. Stomach. Here we go then. Is that one of the remaining answers? Stomach. Nope. Nope. Not up there. So here's your first strike. Uh, a bottle? There's only two answers left on the board. Time I made my shampoo in some kind of way. I'll try a bottle real quick.
Customers might squeeze while they're in the grocery store. I tried the paper tank already. I was going to go for the power to pop up there, but it didn't. Close, mate, close. Drink. Feeling lucky? Although they can't do it until they leave the store. Is that the last answer on the board? No. Drink. I have no clue. Got another strike on the board. Oh no. What answer do you have for us this time? A tried shot the car handle. Some customers might squeeze water in the. Is no one gonna have a fruit? Uh, I have no idea anymore. Are you serious? I'm gonna just put rug, I don't know anything else. Got it! Our survey said... Rug! I don't know what that last one is. Bang! That's three strikes. Sorry, folks. Oh, now it's the yeah. other family's turn to take a crack at it. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. Uh-oh. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. That's your answer. Did any of our 100 people say yes? It's gonna be up there. Bread. I oh, said bread. Oh, so that's what we want. That definitely. Congrats! This round is yours. Okay, we lost. And we finally run out of rounds. So, what are the final scores? I'm flipping lost! You're our big winner! Laying down that winning beat, it's the leads! It's tough playing this game on your own, but you did a great job. We're sorry to see you go. Oh wow, he, I was, he's acting nice about it! He didn't get upset! The didn't... bad news is, you won't be playing fast money today. The good news? There's always next time! But no one who gets this far goes empty-handed. Let's see how much you'll be putting in the bank today. Thanks for playing, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye! Man. Screw you, stupid ladies. Freak you! Come on, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch? I was gonna go to the main, but I wanted to freak you, Lee. I'm getting my victory back. It's all like King Kong. Rematch time. It's back-to-back -back shows on Family Feud today. I was gonna do the, I was gonna do the medium family, but hey, we lost. And who's your host? It's still just little old me. Lucky McCoy! Hi, Lucky McCoy! Please welcome back our families. They're gonna bounce back in this game. Hopefully! Give me some decent questions, please. And defending their crown. 
Here's a quick rundown on the rules. I'll ask you a survey question, and you try to guess the most popular answers. Surveys ready? Let's roll! Time to go head to head. It's the face off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. Oh my gosh. Uh. Man. This time, the top seven answers are on the board. All right. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name a city in Canada everyone's heard of. Are you freaking kidding me? You're first on the buzzer. Yes, yes, yes. Understood. And what did our survey say? Niagara Falls. It's correct, but there's a better answer out there. We're still looking for the top answer, by the way. Oh my gosh, mine's not going to be on there. I don't know anything. I have no clue. I don't know anything about this. A pass. Interesting choice. I have no clue. Now here's the million dollar question. Play or pass? Pass it. Yes, please. So, still feeling confident after that last round? I like that. Let's play. Have you got some view for thought? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's worth a shot. Time to find out if it's up there. Halifax. See, the thing is, I'm not cheating, so I can't just speak it, it is up. up there. First strike. But you've still got this. I know it. I'm not cheating, so uh, I can't just look it up. I'm not going to cheat. Give me an answer. I'm not going to be a cheater. Say it with confidence. Let's run with it. Ottawa. Correct answer. Oh, that's a good answer. Have you got something for us? I hope not. Actually, I don't know anything either, so... That's what you're going with? What is Winnipeg? Is it up there? Winnipeg! Oh, Winnipeg? Oh, oh no. You struck out again. I have no clue. Look, we've got two strikes. You've got to be careful. Okay. Is it there? Edmonton! I don't know anything. We got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Oh. Ho ho! Like my friend Al Capone used to say, another family has a chance to steal. I have no clue. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. I would need to look it up to know anything for this one. You've got a shot here. Hold on a minute, let me think. I'm not passing, let me think about something here. Hold on. I noticed Taylor totally cheating, I'm trying to think. I don't, here's the thing, I, I don't know any famous places in, in Canada. The only one I can think of is Salmon Arm, Canada or whatever. And that might just be a made up place for punch out. Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of about Canada. I know one of my favorite YouTubers lives in Canada, but I don't know where he lives. Ah! Here's what I'll do. I don't like cheating. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look up some known, well-known cities that everybody's heard of. I'm going to just I'm gonna just say a city in Canada, and whatever pops up there, I'm going to put it. I ain't trying to cheat, guys. Understand, I'm not going to ask about something everybody knows about. If it's something I've never heard of anything in Canada. I don't like cheating, guys. I really don't. And I'm not trying to. Sydney. 
cities in Canada. I'm gonna try whatever. Cities, towns, villages frequently mentioned on the web in Toronto, 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 Quebec City, Montreal, and others. I didn't even know Toronto was in freaking Canada. You see what I mean? I could have thought that if I knew where it actually was. Toronto, man. Toronto. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't like cheating. I never. I've, I've heard of Toronto, but I was not in Canada. See what I mean? I don't know anything about Canada. Stop! Let me type in Toronto. There we go. Okie dokie. Do we have a right answer? Toronto! That's what we are looking for. The points go to I've heard of Toronto, guys. I just don't know. Some answers up there. I didn't Let's know it was in Canada. Are. I didn't know. I For number forgot. six, we have Calgary. See, I never heard of that. What was behind number four? Quebec. That one I've heard of, but again, show me the number three answer. Didn't think it was in Canada again. Vancouver. I heard that one. I think the second most popular answer is. Montreal! Again. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. Yes, yeah, seven points. Wow. The first points of the game are on the scoreboard. My goodness. Is that the game punishing for accidentally cheating? I guess that was the game punishing for cheating. I didn't try to cheat, guys, but a lot of those ones I did hear of, I didn't even really think about them being in Canada. I didn't even know they were in Canada. I don't know why. I didn't. Know. I've heard Toronto. It was another one of the YouTubers I used to watch all the time. But I don't know anything else about it, man. Oh no, man! That, that, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. In that, if I didn't, I wouldn't even stood a chance. I mean, Grant was only seven points. I probably just passed it along. But then I saw Toronto and thought, "Are you serious? I'm being, I'm being serious about that. If I saw Toronto, I would have been super ticked off if I didn't put it. Because I know I've heard of that. Uh oh! Here comes that wild thing, guys. <laughs> We'll play a few more. Okay, you know what? Do we even go to the medium family? I'm gonna go to the medium family. Frick it. We, it this can't do me, so I'm gonna go to the medium family. I'm gonna go to the medium family. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me check something real quick. I don't know if I can buy anything at that Can you turn around, dude? Oh, there we go. Leave it alone. I want to say, is right now gonna buy with this? Yes, I need to go. I need to be a part of it. The club ain't gonna do that. There we go. 
again. Don't make him buy anything. Oh, I can't. Never mind. I'm not gonna use it, but I will buy them and use these. What in the world? with that. I didn't change much I know but I changed a little bit. There we go. Alright. What's for what we can do here? What I'm gonna do this and this time I'm gonna do the Coopers. Let's play I'm sorry about the game closing out, guys, but that's kind of expected at this point. Like, seriously, if you expect the game to close out, then you have not watched me play any of this game. Because it will close out. Which is, probably took that long to do it, but it did. I bet you glad it's Friday. Well, it's about to get even better with the fuse! Okay, thank you so much. I'm your man, Lucky McCoy. Oh yeah, baby. Let's get things started by meeting our feuding families. Let's do it. So, you're gonna go it alone? Here's who's standing in your way. It's the Cooper families. Boo! You two families are taking each other on to guess the answers we've got to our survey questions. Find the most popular answers to clear the board and take the rounds. Whoever scores the most points gets to play Fast Money, where you can win $20,000. We're gearing up for a real showdown. Bring it. Let's get things off with a good old face-off. Can I have someone from each family join me, please? Okay, I'm kind of scared. It didn't even go down like it usually does. I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's do this. We want the top four answers to this question. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We asked a hundred people the following. Name a place where you hear a bell ringing. Think you got something? Oh. It's worth a shot. Did our survey say it? School! It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Name a place where you hear a bell ring. You took my other answer. You sure about that? Yes. Survey said. That's a good one. Church. Bingo. That's the number one answer. Time to decide. Play or pass. Well, I'm going to play. Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. Oh, this is not looking good. Where else has a bell? There's just two answers up there. Uh, I see where you're going with this. Okay. Let's see if it's up there. Music store. If it's not on the board, you get a strike. Oops. Get your feuding face on, it's your go! Okay, 
kick. Sure. Well, let's bring another answer on. Let's run with it. Clock tower. Thing. Ouch. Oh. Another strike. Name a place where you hear a bell ring. Got it. Time to find out if it's up there. Clock. Maybe a hotel. Three strikes. I want to try a hotel. We're throwing out a lifeline to the other family. Because you have one at the reception desk. All that. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. I hope I can get it. Give me an answer, and if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and, uh, well, you know. Hotel. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm going to go with that. Ho Said with confidence. Hotel didn't come up. Survey says. Doorbell. Home. Ding, ding. Thank you. You got it. And we've got ourselves a winner. Oh, goodness. There's just one answer we didn't find. We want to see three. Corner shot. Oh. Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. Right now I'm in the lead, but that's only the first round. We've still got plenty of game to go. I am on struggling up the first amount of points on that board. get things going with the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. All right, let's go. Top four answers up on the board. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We asked 100 people. Name something people try to get out of by pretending they're sick. You got in first. A lot of things. Go again. Answer accepted. Is it on the board? School. It's on the board, but we could do better. Hang on, so close up that one. I'm going to need a guess from you. I'm a guess. Name something people try to get out of by pretending they're sick. Work. Birthday party. Good. Okay. Huh. Is it there? Birthday party. Oh. Sorry. Not up there. Thank goodness. Is it your time to play or pass? I'll play. I know a few answers. You want to play? Heck yeah. Church. Work. What do you think? We need another answer. Work. Okay, is that one of the remaining answers? Work! There you go. That's Woo. at the top! Yahoo! There's only two answers left on the board. Search. Uh, Ah. Ah. Are you serious? Court? There's no way Court's gonna be up there. That's your answer. I had a bad one. Is it up there? Let's hope so. Court. Oh, we're so close to completion. I can't believe I was on the board. Ooh. Name something people try to get out of by pretending uh, they're sick. What else do I hate going? I tried church several times. Donut. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
I was trying to jog, it's an exercise. Understood. Did anyone in the survey say this? That's your first strike. Two more and you're done. I have no clue what I'm going to bait. Where else were they going to? One more to find. Shopping? With her spouse? I have no clue what that was. Some people try to get out of it pretending they're sick. School a test with something else school. Sure thing. Will this make a clean sweep? Let's we, find out. What do we want to let you do at school? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's oh, another oh, oh. strike. Oh. It's up to you. Two strikes. Think you've got it? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying one more time. I don't, I'm going to try to trick this. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know what Our the, survey said. This is the only answer I have. Church. And that's three strikes. The oh, other family know. gets a chance to steal. Let's hope they don't do it. There's only one answer left. Come on. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. Here's your chance. You can do it. <laughs> All righty then. Do we have a right answer? That's up okay. there. Family visit. Thing. That's it. <laughs> and this round goes to you. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. And I know you buy a few points. That win wasn't enough to take the lead, but the scores are getting closer. It's time for another face-off. I need two people up front. This is not going to work out. There are four answers you need to find. Hang on, four answers, aren't they? Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, give me a word that rhymes with yawn. You're up. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Yeah. Okay, then. Yawn, yawn. Is it up there? Pawn. Pawn! It's correct, but there's a better answer out there. You still have the number one answer up there, just waiting to be found. <laughs> Feeling lucky? Did our survey agree? That is not number one. Drawn! Four. Uh, I answered all. Nada. Now here's the million dollar question. Play or pass? This can be regrettable, but I'll play again. You gonna play again? Okay. What answer do you have for us this time? Right. Hi. Yep. And what did our survey say? You found a good answer, but it's not the best answer. Gone. There's two answers still up there. What do you got for me? Gone, as in the track of dawn. Oh, okay. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Dawn. 
That, my friend, is the top answer. Yawn, pawn, dawn. Pawn? Give me a word that rhymes with yawn. Pawn. That's go like this. Yawn, pay, and yawn, came. Yawn, pawn, dawn. Tron, begin. Dawn, mon. Ah! Yawn. Young Magpie. I don't know what that last one is. Um. Your mind drew a blank this time, huh? You already tried drawing. Drawing. Do you have an answer for us? Yawn Mom? Yawn Mom. Nope. You already tried drawing. Let them be up there. Yawn. Con. I just have con. Non. As in non existent. Not. Christmas. Non. 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 Oh, that's none! Frick off! Here we go then. Non. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Yes, you say non. Uh, That's your second uh, strike right there. I don't know what that last one is. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal it. Just one answer to go. Pawn, nine. Pawn, pawn. 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 There we go! That might be it. That's good. That ain't there, I don't know where it goes. Could it be there? Fawn! Ah, yes! Oh. That, my friends, is how you clear the board. <laughs> the points go to this family. Shall we take a look at the scores? You gonna say anything about this time? And they're still the kings of this huge castle. I only need 16 points in order to win. It's time for the face off. Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. It's a full board. Eight answers are up there. Oh my gosh. We're upping the ante again. All questions are now worth triple. We took a survey. 100 people. Name something in your life you're happy with. You buzzed in first. Spouse. Oh, nice. Okie dokie. Let's see what the survey says. Spouse! Hey. It's up there, but it's not the top answer. Somebody's testing the whole It's us. your turn to guess. <laughs> that's what you're going with? TV. Let's see if that's a good answer. TV! <laughs> nothing for that one. I don't know if nothing for So, that. what are you going to do here? Play or pass? Might be a bad decision, but I'll, I'll play. You want this round all to yourself, huh? Worked out for me last time, but I won't get that one this time. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Um. Show. 
order in. Got it. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Children. Nice job, but it's not the number one answer. All right. Mm. Got another answer? What's life in general? If I say life, will actually pop a main thing? No. Food? All right. Time to check the board. Food. Nope. Sorry, it wasn't up there. So I'm gonna have to give you your first strike. Home, car. Name something in your life you're happy with. Neighborhood? Interesting answer. Is it up there? Show me. Car. There we go. Answer number one. Yeah. Dig deep and think of an answer. No. I'm trying to move. So my winner. Oh, great. I forgot what put in. Pants. All right. Let's try it. Let's see if the board's got it. Pet. Uh-oh. Two strikes. Our other family better get ready. All right. Look, we've got two strikes. We've got to be careful. Your wife are happy with job, money. Nice. Show me the answer. Job. You're still in this. Cool. Name something in your life you're happy with. Yeah. Money. That's what you think, huh? What did our survey say? Money. There we go. You live to feud another day. For now. Nice. Parents? Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Hello? His mom popped her with money. Oh, now it ain't popping up anymore. Uh. Great. Great. Yes. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Great! Oh no! Strike three! Oh, we wow. could be about to witness a steal! Luckily for me, if they do get it, it won't be enough for them to win the game. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board! You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance! <laughs> we have an answer! I mean, I guess. Our survey says... Watch that be there. Phone! Ding. Oh, no! You blown it! <laughs> You're the big winner this round. So what did we miss this time? Number eight. Reveal yourself. Jewelry. Mm. And the sixth most popular answer... Tablet. That's technology. What's the fourth answer? Computer. Oh my gosh, two of them. 
Let's take a final look at those scores. I didn't think they would actually even pull up technology on there. And here's our winning team. I did it. You're the winner. You get to play fast money. Screw you, Coopers. Sorry, Cooper family, but you didn't make it a win today. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. All right. All right, my lonesome lovely. Since you didn't bring anyone with you, you're going to have to answer these questions twice. You got it. You're going to answer five questions. Give me the best answers you can think of for them. Then we'll do it all over again a second time. If both rounds add up to 200 points, you'll get the jackpot. Okay, let's start the clock. Yeah, let's do it. If you were dating a clown, you might come home with a big red nose in your what? Oh my gosh, that's going to be freaking bad. What the heck? I'll pass it. Name something that rhymes with King Kong. Oh my gosh! These are all like naughty answers. Name your best asset as an employee. Smart. Work hard. I'll try work hard. No. Work hard. Oh my god. Name something you get back from your ex to give to your new partner. Ring. Name something that is actually flatter than a pancake. Uh. Oh my gosh! If you were dating a clown, you might come home with a big red nose in your... what? That's gonna sound so bad, but... Name your best asset as an employee. And... Ah! Name something that is actually flatter than a pancake. I have no clue. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to turn time. Dang it! Paper! 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 Oh my gosh! No, 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 I have no clue, man. Paper. Name your best asset as an employee. Reliable. That's everything. <sighs> okay, it's time to do it all again. It's time to face those questions again. But this time, we want to hear some different answers. Clock's all set. Let's go. Not this again. If you were dating a clown, you might come home with a big red nose in your what? Oh my gosh. Name something that rhymes with King Kong. Ping Kong. Name your best asset as an employee. Trustworthy. Try another answer. Oh, uh, same thing. Ooh. 
learn. You learn. Waiter, name something you get back from your ex to give to your new partner. Uh, it's your home, then bring me that. No. Pass. Name something that is actually flatter than a pancake. Paper. Picture. Photo. If you are dating a clown, you might come home with a big red nose in your what? Yeah. Name something you get back from your ex to give to your new partner. Why? Um, why? I'm gonna go car. That's all five. I have no clue. That one, okay, you can relax now. We're done. That was hard. Let's see how well you did. I'm definitely not getting the 20 grand for this one. First up, we wanted you to tell us if you are dating a clown, you might come home with a big red nose in your what? Here are your answers. That's two strong answers right there. Yeah. One of those answers is clearly better than the other. Pocket! That was the top answer. Mm. Our second question was, name something that rhymes with King Kong. And your answers... Ping Pong. Two impressive answers here. There's no way Ding Dong's going to work. We uh. found the most popular one. Ding Dong was the number question one. Question three. Name your best asset as an employee. The answers you gave. I need 105. The survey says. I need 105. Yay. We've got one answer in the points this time. 100. No. Hard working. I need 85. That was our top answer. We asked you. 85 is my name. Name something you get back from your ex to give to your new partner. This is Gabby number one, the ring. Let's remind everyone what you said. There's no way cars in with there, but those answers look good, don't they? Ring does. Number yeah. one answer. All we need is 14. For the final question, we wanted to know. All we need is 14. Name something that is actually flatter than a pancake. And here's what you said. No, we need four. The jackpot's in your sights. Alright! Thank you. I don't know how I did that. You didn't just win. You won big. I cannot believe I won the game. That $20,000 is yours. Well played, everyone. We'll see you next time, folks, on The View. Good night. Okay. Let's see. Wanna give it another go? This might seem dumb, but I'm gonna do something extremely stupid. I'm actually gonna go to another family real quick. We're gonna play one more game, at least. However, I'm gonna make this extremely difficult for me to win. Because, guess what? I'm gonna try to do the very hard flipping family. There's no way I'm beating this, but I'll try it. Battle the toughest team of you fanatics. There's no way I'm gonna win this game. This may have been a regrettable choice, but at least it'll be a good end to the video if I decide to end after this. Even if I'm good afternoon, and welcome to Family Feud. Oh. Welcome to the show. I'm Lucky McCoy. This is gonna suck. What say we meet today's feuding families? 
standing alone today. Give me a bunch of Pokemon questions. I don't want to read an answer in here. And they'll be playing against our toughest team of champions. This is gonna be regrettable, man. You want to know how to play the feud? It's very simple. We've surveyed 100 people, and you need to guess the answers they've come up with to our questions. The team that does the best goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win 20,000 bucks. All right, Peters, let's play! There's no way. Hope you've got your game faces on, because it's time for a face-off. There's no way. Someone from each family. Get up here and play. There is no way I'm going to win this game. Top five answers on the board there. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. Okay. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word sleeping. You're in first. What you got? Sleeping time. Pills. Stop, please. Come on. Ah. There we go. It's worth a shot. Show me that answer. You're on the board, but that top answer is still out there. It's up to you now. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word sleeping. Like a wall. You sure about that? Yes. Our survey says like a log. Thing. What? No. The decision is yours. Will you play or pass? I think you got this one. Let's play. The problem is my passage is going to be a problem because they might screw the board. We need another answer from you. Can I type in sleeping and make it all come up? Sleeping. Like a baby. Oh my gosh, dude! Sleeping... Sleeping tight? I see where you're going with this. Let's take a look. Tight! Dude, that's not up there. So here's your first strike. Go! Sleeping... Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Oh. Sleeping in. Sleeping in. Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's check the board. In! Oh. Two strikes. Oh. Our other family need to get ready to steal. Oops. We're on a razor's edge here. Yeah, quite literally, man. Sound like... I don't know. Super sad. Sleeping sound. I have no clue, man. Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. They somehow There's not. There's an opportunity to steal here. There's no way. Now the other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word sleeping. Got it. Let's see if that's a correct answer. No. Policeman! It's up there. 
What? That's not what we're looking for. They're the champions! It's a win over here. How? What were the answers that passed us by? Number five. What are you? Waking up. Please reveal number four. Dogs. Oh. Answer number two. Where are you? Bang. Ah. Oh. Time to reveal that tricky top answer. Beauty. Before we start another round, let's find out who's on top. I don't know how I even got that. I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for, but their initials are... You actually rooting for me, dude? I appreciate that a lot. It's time for a face-off. Right. I want two contestants to come and play. Let's do this. Look for all eight answers to this one. Oh my gosh. Get those feuding fingers ready. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at the question. We asked 100 people this question. Name something a nurse might do to make a patient feel good. You're in first. Might be a dumb idea or by my side. Said with confidence. And our survey says Massage. There we go. That's correct with a capital K, which means it's there. But there's still a better one. We're still looking for the top answer, by the way. Answer accepted. Let's see if it's there. Listen! It's not the number one answer, but that'll do it. It's make up your mind time. Pass or play. Let's hope someone in your family has the top answer. Let's play. Oh, crap. And here's where that's going to backfire. Give me an answer. I don't know how you see the old points of order. Probably those 12 just had to give it. Good. Okay. Do we have it? Give Mets. Yep. That's the big money maker. Hey! Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Okay. Did any of our 100 people say it? Smile. All right. Oh, nice. I have an idea. One. Name way. something a nurse might do to make a patient feel good. Tuck. That's your answer. Tuck in. I want to see that answer. Hey, a hospital. Tuck in. If you're going to stay there. Oh my gosh. It isn't there. First strike. But you've still got this. I know it. Uh oh. Moving along the feud chain. Oh. Understood. Bring a TV. Our survey said. Ding. Number four. Bring TV. Number four. That's your second strike. This is the champions! How are they doing this? Look sharp. Another strike and you lose control of this round. I haven't have one out there yet. Oh. Sure thing. Let's see it. Comfort. That's actually there. You're still hanging in there. Name something a nurse might do to make a patient uh -huh. feel good. Sing, I was thinking. Uh, yes. I was thinking sing earlier. Is that one of the ones we've got left? Sing. Sing. We're still clinging to this game. Whoop. Good answer. You got anything for us? Oh. <laughs> All righty then. Is that answer good enough? Read 
allowed. That's three strikes and you're out. The other team is in with a chance. If I steal these points, I'm crying my pants. I'm going to try to talk. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. There's no way I'm starting the money in the bank right now. Man. Music. Okay then. The survey says music. Uh, you didn't find what we wanted. You win this round. We've got some answers to go through. Number five. Change betting. It's time to reveal the fourth answer. Sponge bath. Gosh dang it. All right, it's time for a score update. Holy moly, we've got ourselves a battle here. A new leading family. Yeah. Wow. Frick you, Dream Team. Frick you. Are you ready for another face-off? Who wants to play? Get over here! There's four answers for you to find. Time to take it to the next level with double points. Oh we conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Which is? Give me a sound that a horn makes. Your first In the horn, I'm supposed to put that on here. Uh, Feeling lucky? Let's see if you're right. Oh, Wait, that's a bell. The top answer. Dude. What? So, are you going to play or pass? They're passing. It's your play now. Oh, boy. Time to search your mind for an answer. Oh. There's more of a bail, but I'll try it. Stop! Suck my wiener! Oh my gosh. Stop moving! Yep. Did our survey say it? Ding! It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Oh no. You can do it. What do you think? No oh. meal's calling me. Oh crap, pause. Hold on, guys. Hello? Hey, bud. Hey. Upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. Uh, doing a video. Yep. Playing a game. Yep. Mama cleaning it out when you get up there. Nope. She said there's nowhere to put anything. So. Yeah, it was hard for me to get up there uh, just uh, today. Is she at home? She was supposed to go to a movie, but I don't know if she's gone yet. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. You don't know what time they're going to the movie? I don't know what time they might go early, but it's supposed to start around seven. Uh, 
Yeah. I'll call her back in a few minutes. Alright. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Sorry guys, I was my grandmother. Okay. This actually gives me what else is a bell make though? I should have asked her. I don't know, man. I've got Hawk. Oh god. But what else is there, man? What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh my gosh, dude! Hawk is the only thing I can think of. Everything else I can think of makes a bell sound. Ding! Ding! You know? Ding dong! There's no horn that makes that sound. What's that? Beep beep. That's only for cars though. With that cat, let's try it. That's the only I can think of. I'm gonna say cars. I mean, not cars, I'm saying beep. Beep beep. Or like the Roadrunner. Beep beep. Stop, please, man. Beep. Thank you. Oh. Okay. There's no way. Survey said. Beep. Beep. Yes! You've got the right idea. Oh, they passed it. Oh. Give me a sound that a horn makes. I don't know. Anyway. Is there anything else called or H and O? Over there. Beep beep. I have no clue, man. A pass. Interesting choice. I have no idea. You gave me some of the worst questions. Get another strike, and the other family will get a chance. And that's your third strike. Looks like the other family has a chance to steal. What other sound does a bell make? The only one that can think of is ding and fatigue, and that's all. It takes one. just one answer to steal and take home the points. That's bells, not horns. So you can't. You could steal all the points with this answer. Music. Here we go then. There's no way. Let's see if it's up there. If that's up there, I swear to God, I'm playing. Music. Yes! No! You've won this round! Yes! No! Are you ready to see the rest of the answers? Oh my gosh. Number four, show yourself. Ooga! Oh, a Let's see guy. number three. Toot! <laughs> How are those scores looking? They can eat their sound, they just said music. <laughs> There's a change at the top of the scoreboard. Yeah, but now I've got to pray that I can get this last round. <laughs> now, let's do the face off. All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. <laughs> Five answers are on the board. The stakes are getting higher because we're now tripling the points. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name a word or phrase that can come before attack. You're up first. What do you got? Back attack, hard attack, that's a good amount. That's good. Let's run with it. Heart. Number one. You won the face off. So tell me, play or pass? I'll try it. We are playing over here. Might be the worst thing I've ever made, though. Guess what? We need an answer. Oh. 
I think of Pokemon moves, it might have the word attack in it. Panic attack! Panic attack! Okie dokie! Time to find out if it's up there! Panic! You know it! What do you think? We need another answer. Anxiety. Oh wait, asthma. Let's try anxiety. No. As. I think it's A S. And yeah, there it is. That's what you're going with. Yep. Survey says asthma. I don't know, man. Strike one, two more, and you're out. Name a word or phrase that can come before attack. I have no clue. Oh my gosh, the only thing I can think is the pulling moves. I don't know anything else, man. Other family? I'd be getting ready if I were you. What answer do you have for us this time? Anxiety. No, I don't know the last one. Ouch! Third strike! Wait! Well, they have 90. Oh, family has a chance. Oh, they have 285 if they get 285. We just need one answer. No. And if it's on the board, the round is yours. No, I have 283 if they get this. Find a good answer, and you'll get all the points. We need to win sudden death. And once I get it, I'll get it. Under attack. Got it. Oh, crap. Is it on the board? We're under attack. Under. Yep. What? That's not the one. I beat the champions! And they cleaned up again. Now it's time to see what you missed. The fifth answer is... Big Mac. Big Mac attack. Number four. Zach. Zach attack. Answer number three. And... Shark! Oh my gosh! And we finally run out of rounds. I so, what are the final scores? I cannot believe I just beat the champions again. You're our big winner! Who needs a family to win this game? You're going on to fast money. Oh! Our green team of champions has been defeated! Holy crap, I can't believe I beat them. Because you're about to play fast money. Since you don't have any teammates, you'll be playing fast money twice. That's fine, man. Let's go. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score 200 points altogether, you'll win the jackpot. All right. And here we go. Name something you wear two of at the same time. Shoes. Name something you can use to make your hands look good. Lotion. Name something you'd hate to get hit by. A car. Name something that might accidentally fall into the toilet. 
found. Name something that's easy to pick. <laughs> Your nose. We're all questioned out. Okay, we're gonna go again. Same questions. Now it gets a bit tricky. You've got to do it all again with brand new answers. Okay, start the clock. Name something you wear two of at the same time. Socks. Name something you can use to make your hands look good. I'll come back to that one. Name something you'd hate to get hit by. Uh, a glass bottle. I don't know what that one is. I can go Name glass. something that might accidentally fall into the toilet. Wallet. Watch. Wallet. Name something that's easy to pick. Your tea. Name something you can use to make your hands look good. Uh, lotion. Hands I had not on the spirit on the board. And cream, is it the same thing? I'm gonna try again. Yep, yeah, the same thing. Frick! Sanitizer. What type of sanitizer? Not. Soap and water? What's going on with the game? They're glitching. Wax knuckles. All right, you know that's what? all five of them. What is wax knuckles? That I'm definitely getting. And knuckles. now you can relax. That was the final question. There's no way I'm getting. It's time to find out if you hit the jackpot. There's no flipping way I'm getting this. There's no flipping way. First up, we asked. Name something you wear two of at the same time. This, one should be this good is what you said. This is what I, this is the one. These two are looking good. That's a top answer. Great job. Next, we asked you. Socks one number? Name something you can use to make your hands look good. Here's what you said. Oh, that one had a six. I think we might be good on this one. Are you sure? Lotion, yeah, but... A top answer! And what in the world else? Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, name something you'd hate to get hit by. The answers to this one... All I need's 46. How many people said those answers? 46. Yes! Good on you! You've earned yourself an impressive victory. I got it! Take a quick look to get the rest of your answers. Phone and nose. You get 20,000 smackers to take home with you. Now don't spend it all in one place. That concludes the feud. We'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Come on, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch? I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll rematch so I'll do what is your family. I did say that would be my last, but I'll have to do one more. Frick it. I'm having a lot of fun, so let's do one more. Should I actually, should I, I kind of want to see if I have multiple, if I want, I want to see if I have a, if I have a family. Let's do it. Let's see, let's see how if I have a family. I want to see how if I actually do have one. Hi. Yeah, I guess. Okay, there we go. This is going to be weird, but... Hey, this, this one's showing me something different. Now we'll see what he says whenever he actually did do other things like fast money. Let's see what he says!
I've never seen this before, so this is something new for all of us. And unless y'all watch other videos where people have multiple people watch first, I haven't got to do it. I'm just doing it to see what would happen. Are you ready for Family Feud? Yes, I am ready. Hello everyone, it's me, Lucky McCoy. Thank you for joining us here. Alright, let's play the feud. Are you ready to meet our families? Yes. This family are looking to take home the jackpot today. Ooh. Please welcome this band of players, the Lee family. Boo! You suck! Our families will be battling it out to answer your surveys. Whoever scores the most points goes on to fast money for the chance to win a lot of cash and a brand new car. It's time to get you. Here we go. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? Oh, is that you telling me? Okay, that's cool. All right, let's do it. I'm going to need six answers, friends. All right. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Mm -hmm. Name something every person in America should be able to afford. Go for it. Car? All right. Hey. All right. So Is it there? Car. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. It's your go. What do you think? Interesting answer. Break out. Did anyone in the survey say this? Take out. Okay. Nobody said that one. You want to play, or do you want to pass and force them to play? We'll try it. Oh, that's cool. I'll try it. I hope your family can find a top answer. Let's go. Oh, my. What do you have for us? Happy. Sounds happy. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's try it. Our survey said, Home. Superb! Awesome! Yeah. Alright, you're up! Hmm. Food! Nice! Do we have a right answer? Food! There we go! Nice one! You're up! What you got for me? Um, That's what you think, huh? Who said boo? Is it up there? Jump! Oh, wait. Oh, cool. It's not up there. So this is your first strike. Hospital. I thought I'd build, I thought I'd build a house earlier. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Hospital. Yes! Did our survey agree? Hospital. Very nice. Name something every person in America should be able to afford. Insurance. Child support. Oh my gosh. 
I have no more. Clothes, that's not clothing. We have an answer. Is that answer up there? Clothing. I have no clue. Another strike. Uh oh. They may look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. Yeah, I get that, unfortunately. What about water? No. Plumbing? Well, I saw a chew on white, actually. I don't know if there are any more. Electricity? Electrician? Oh my gosh, man. I'm gonna go with I'm, I have it's no, worth a shot. I have no idea. And what did our survey say? It's okay, family. Trash! I have no idea, man. Oh no, that's strike three. Okay. It's time for the other team to have a crack at this. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. Okay, if the answer is there, you'll steal the points. If not, they go to the other side of the stage. Bus you fare. sure about that? Bus fare. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Bus fare. That's your kind of transportation. Oh, there we go. That's not it. Yes. Our winning family. Let's check out the missed answers. Here's what you missed under number six. TV! Oh. What have we got in five? Let me guess, computer? Education. Oh my gosh, why didn't I get that one? Which family is leading the way? Let's right. find out. Right now it's us. That's just one round down. We've got so much fun left to have here. Are you ready for a face-off? Yes. All right. Give me two people. Let's do this. All right. Let's do this. We've got four answers to find. Get ready to buzz in. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name a place you never want to hear someone say, Brace yourself. You're up first. Might not be up there. What about school? Work. I see where you're going with this. Could it be there? School. Oh. Not in this survey. The number one answer is still up there. Okay, sure. Let's see what the survey says. Bus. No points. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Work. Got it. Let's see if that's a good answer. Work. Go. Oh, too bad. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Awesome. Said with confidence. Could it be up there? That's Let's a, find out. Yep. Hospital. Hmm. Oh, so sorry. It's not there. Police so what's your guess going to be? Police station? Jail? I'm trying to turn police station. There we go. Okay, no. I'm gonna try to have 
Time to yeah. answer accepted. Time to check the board. Train. Oh my gosh. That's not what we're looking for. What do you think? This is hard for both of us. Oh yeah. Good. Okay. Is it up there? Show me. Lift. There you go. Oh, it's there. I was starting to worry. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? Oh, which one the pass? They'd rather pass than play? Fine by me. Alright. Got an answer for me? Okay. Plain. Okay. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Plain. There we go. Perfecto. That was it. What's your answer? Um, gosh. I don't have any idea. I'm going to click this. That's your answer. Let's see if the board's got it. Car. There we go. Look at that beautiful board. Almost full. Oh, Name a place you never want to hear someone say, brace yourself. I have no idea. Stop! Stupid get. Uh. Wait, daughter's office! Daughter's office! Daughter's office! Wait, no, 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 it wouldn't be that. No! Store! Store! Oh my god, oh my god, I have no idea. I have no idea. You want to take a pass? That's fine with me. I have no idea what that last one is. Um. Just one answer left. I put on the phone. I'm gonna just go with Jim. I have no idea. Understood. I have no idea. Show me the answer. Jim. Oh, it's another strike. I have no idea what the last one is. You're still alive. What do you think? Brace yourself. Um. I think I already tried to draw it in the but at this point I have no idea. I don't have any more ideas. I don't know. You're all out of ideas? Okay. Yep. Ho ho! Nice. Like my friend Al Capone used to say. Our other family has a chance to steal. All right. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Name a place you never want to hear someone say, brace yourself. 
Sure thing. What did our survey say? Is that supposed to be a joke? Dentist. No, it's not. That's what we want. This family have bagged the win. Here's what the scores look like after that round. Looks like someone has some catching up to do, but there's still time to do it. No, that was supposed to be a joke. Time to go head to head. It's the face off. I need one person from each family to join me up front. All right, let's do it. We're looking for seven answers this time. All right. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. If you were dreaming that you're a dog, name something you might do in your sleep. You're first. Drool. Yes, right Ah, yes. Our survey says... Drool. Really? Oh, swing and a miss. The number one answer is still a secret. If you were dreaming that you're a dog, name something you might do in your sleep. <laughs> Alrighty then. Show me that answer. Roll over. There you go. Way to go, sport. That's on the board. Do you want to play or pass? Okay, rejoin your family and we'll get things started. Oh boy. Got a guess ready? Because I'm gonna need one. Uh... You took! Okay then. Took all my eggs. Our survey says... Ding. Pants! Oh my gosh. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Thank goodness it is. Do you have an answer? Feeling lucky? Let's take a look. Fetch! You got another strike on the board. There's only 10 points up there. Though. If you were dreaming that you're a dog, name something you might do in your sleep. Yep. That's definitely up there. Let's check the board. Dang. Run! Huh. That's three. That's only two points. This yeah. round is getting thrown over to the other side. Yep, here comes me. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal the round. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Fart. Oh, okay. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Fart. There we go. You've done it. You're forging ahead now. Looks like we missed a few answers. Let's see what they were. What came seventh? Snort! Oh. In at six? Wag tail! <laughs> what was behind number four? Sniff! Yep. Show me the third answer. Scratch! Oh. The second most popular answer is. Let's find out who's in charge. I'm ahead, but not by much. Still in the lead. They must really want this. Oh, trust me, they do want it. No! 
No! I'm not quitting until I, until I do one round with. That was gonna be my last one. I think that was gonna be my last one. No, 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 no. <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me right now, man? I cannot believe it. That was actually my last round anyway, man. Alright, we know we're setting up, so let's just do it. Quickly. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Hi. There we go. I'm trying it this way, man. Here we go. I can't believe that. Come on. I know we wouldn't far ahead, but dear me, if we make it one now, one of the last one went my way. Good afternoon, and welcome to Family View. so much. I'm your man, Lucky McCoy. Let's meet today's families. Here's the first family who are hoping to take home all the cash. Please welcome this band of players, the Lee family. Here's how it works. You and your family will guess the answers on the board to our survey questions. Whichever team gets the highest score goes on to play fast money for the chance to win 20,000 big ones. It's beauty time. Let's do this. <laughs> it's time to face the first question in the face-off. I need two players down in front. All right, let's go. There are four answers you need to find. You got it. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. 100 people. We ask them the following. Which is? Name a word or phrase that can follow the word Swiss. You got in first. Jeez. Yep. Time to check the board. Cheese. Top answer. Now here's the million dollar question. Play or pass. Ah, oh, this is going to be dangerous. I'm going to Let's go. Wait. Great. You're going to play. I don't know what to think of as a Swiss Army knife. Swiss. And now it's Wait. your guess. There's a Swiss roll, but I don't know if they're counting snack cakes or not. Let's try it. Swiss roll. Okay. Our survey said. Roll! I ain't counting that. Ouch! Sorry. You've earned yourself a strike. Oop. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Uh, 
There you go. That's your answer. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Army knife. That's the only one I have. I've got another strike on the board. Swiss. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word Swiss. I have no clue. Swiss. I have no clue. The only one I can think of is Swiss or only knife. Three strikes. We're throwing out a lifeline to the other family. It's a good thing I didn't freaking try passing it then, because dear me, it would have been bad. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. Swiss miss. Yes! There is no way. Did any of our 100 people say it? No. Miss! Nope. Yep. Never mind. You've done it. What is a Swiss miss? This round goes to you. But you knew that, didn't you? Let's see those missing answers. Show me the number three answer. Bank account. Again? Never what heard. was answer number two? Alps. Never heard of any of those except for Swiss cheese. Here's how things are shaping up so far. <sighs> All right, computers, that's one round in the can. Let's see what awaits us next. <laughs> now, let's do the face off. I need two people up front. All right, let's do it. It's a full board. Eight answers. Right. Any more, and we need another time slot. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. All right, let's do it. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name a musical instrument that looks like your body. You're up first. Tuba. Said with confidence. Did our survey agree? Tuba! You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. Have you got something for us? I was thinking, yeah, that's okay, another one. Sure. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Piano! Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Play or pass? This could be dumb, but I'll, I'll play. This could be your shot for a comeback. Let's go. What will you go for? Let's try a trumpet. All right. Did our survey say it? Trumpet. That's correct with a capital K, which means it's there. But there's still a better one. Oh, yeah. That's a good answer. Your guess, buddy. Yeah. What? Great answer. Are you sure about that? <sighs> and our survey says flute. Uh, that's not on the board. I'm not surprised. So you've earned yourself a strike. I'm not surprised they have one up there. My goodness. Um, Name a musical instrument that looks like your body. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, I wasn't how do you spell guitar again? Answer accepted. Could it be there? Guitar. I don't know. You found a good answer, but it's not the best answer. 
I'm gonna need your guess. Well, what drums? Okie dokie. Let's check the board. Base. Oh, that's a it's up there. I don't know what else is a fat angel. It's your turn to guess. Oh. Trumpet and trombone, same thing. I don't think so. Heart! I see where you're going with this. I want to see that answer. Heart. It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Hey, good answer. It's up to you now. Hmm. Amber Ram is going to be up there. Where is it? I have no idea. I don't want to think of it as trying one. Oh, wait! Okay, then. Will that be one of the missing answers? Triangle! That's another strike. I'm trying to an air fat or skinny instrument. Name a musical instrument that looks like your body. Violin? Oh, I can think of. Understood. Let's see what the survey says. Violin! There we go. You're still Ooh. hanging in there. Yeah. They may look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. Mm. I have no idea. You go, Ailey. You. You go, Ailey. Ah, uh, yes. Survey says. Ukulele. I don't know what that last one is. I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Oh, we could oh, be oh. about to witness a steal. I have no idea what that last one is. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. Here's your chance. You can do it. No, please don't do it. Oh, good. Okay. I think I had Did chance. anyone in the survey say this? Dang. Saxophone. Frick. It's a steal. <laughs> Another win for this family. Well, we only missed one answer. Let's hope it's the funny one. This is the fourth answer. Cello. Which family is leading the way? Let's this, find out. This is freaking bad, dude. One of our families is on the board, while the other family has nothing. You know the funny thing about it is I think I thought saxophone when the person first popped up and I forgot about it and never thought of it again. Oh, that sucks. It's time for the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. Man. Look for all 
eight answers for this one. Again? All right, let's sweeten the pot a bit. All the point values for this question have been doubled. We took a survey, 100 people. Name a ticklish spot where your dog knows to lick you. You're up. And? Yes, bring it. All right, let's try it. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Pan! Well, you hit the target, but it's not a bullseye. I need an answer. It's worth a shot. Time to find out if it's up there. Chief! Oh my god. It ain't number one, but it'll do. What's it to be? Pass or play? You won last time, and now you run a roll. Let's play this thing. Oh no. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. That's what you think, huh? Our survey says that. Thank goodness. If it's not on the board, you get a strike. Uh, I'm gonna need a guess from you. Uh, sure thing. Let's take a look. Nodes. Oh no, you struck out again. Have you got some view for thought? Oh. Hey. Feeling lucky? Let's run with it. Me! There you go. You live to view another day. Please for now. Please just don't. Nice. Please just don't take the other one so I do have. You're up! What you got for me? There's a lot of spots you can probably think of, but the poison is going to be too quick. That's what you're going with? Survey said. Elbow. Okay, here we go. Three strikes. That's gonna do it for you. I'm gonna try feet. Now it's yeah. the other family's turn to take a crack at it. Now the other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. Okay, if the answer is there, you'll steal the points. If not, they go to the other side of the stage. All righty then. Let's see if the board's got it. Feet. That's it. You got the points, but you ain't in the lead just yet. There's still plenty of time to catch up. You left some answers up there. Let's see what they are. What came seven? Armpit. The elusive six. Belly. I was thinking belly too. Show me the third answer. Ear. Uh -huh. What was hiding behind slot number two? Net. All right. It's time to check out the current scores. Oh boy. You may have won this round, but you still got a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Alright. I need 91. At least. In order to be tired with them. Are you ready for another face-off? Someone from each family, get up here and play. Let's see how you can fast money when you have two people, at least. There are seven answers for this question. Wait, do you get to pick who you're going to have up there? All right, now, it's still anyone's game, because for this question, the point values are tripled. We asked a hundred people the following. Name a button on the remote you wish worked on your spouse. Think you got something? There's a lot of things. Mute. We have an answer. 
Let's see if it's there. Mute. Answer number one. Yeah. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. I'll try it. Yeah, we'll play. You gotta play after a great answer like that. All right, let's hear it. Fast forward. Yeah. Factory reset. Got it. Why that come up there? Is it up there? Next. It's there. What do you have for us? Okay. I had an idea now. What was it? Oh my gosh, what was the idea I had? Pause, pause, pause. Oh, yeah. Got it. Do we have it? Pause. Oh yeah. Yay. Moving along the feud chain. So power. Power on your off. Here we go then. What did our survey say? Oh! Good job. You got anything for us? Uh change channel hey interesting answer yeah interesting all right show me the answer change channel what else I don't sorry know. it wasn't up there so i'm going to have to give you your first strike rewind maybe name a button on the remote you wish worked on your spouse Record, rewind, reset. Okay. That's good. Do we have a right answer? Rewind. All right, way to go, kiddo. Whoop. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Oh. I'm gonna try to reset right there. That's not up there. Oh, okay. That's not up there. Let's check the board and see if it made it. I highly doubt it. Yeah. Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Two more answers up there. What do you think? Uh-huh. Hmm. I have no idea. DJ, that must have sound so bad. No. Oh my gosh, what else am I flipping on my Search? Nice! Is it on the board? Oh no, that's strike three! Please don't take it. The other Please. family gets a chance to steal. Please let me have this. If they get this, I actually... Oh, that's a terrible thing. If this family answer. finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. And they'll win the game. You've got a shot here. What else is on the board? Yep. Oh my god. How they say? I. Let's get the volume. Dang. You know the score. I see that the same thing as. You're the big winner this round. There's just one answer we didn't find. Let's see number three. Delete. <laughs> and we finally run out of rounds. So, what are the final scores? Uh, and that's it. We have ourselves a winner. Laying down that winning beat, it's the ladies. It's been a pleasure. 
you played like champs, but unfortunately, we have to lose someone. I want to see how fast money works, man. Sorry, but the fast money round is not in your future. But no one who gets this far goes empty-handed. Let's see how much you'll be putting in the bank today. Not much, I'll have 40 points. This is Lucky McCoy, thanking you oh so much for playing. See you next time. I want to finish, I was going to stop, but I... What do you say, want to go again? I need to do it. I need to see how it re see how the fast money round works with two people. All right, let's do this again. I bet you're glad it's Friday. Well, it's about to get even better with the feud. I'm not going anywhere. Lucky is here to stay. How did I beat the very hard fan and we all of a sudden become like champs? Let's remind ourselves who's playing. Looking to settle the score. Yeah, this time I need to get some luck when it comes to them taking everything. Hoping for another win, I bet. You know the rules by now. Answer our surveys and try to guess the most popular answer. All right, let's get this show on the road. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I need one person from each family to join me up front. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. We're looking for seven answers this time. Alright. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. If you're on a kiss cam at a game, name a relative you wouldn't want to be sitting next to. Huh? You're in first. Okay. Let's see it. Uncle. That's incorrect. Well, sibling. Do you have an answer? A relative. Crap, is that considered a relative? I feel like I'm being a dumb dumb. I was trying to say That's your answer. And what did our survey say? Sibling. There we go. We've got a top answer. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Mm. They really had you on the ropes last time. Now it's time to start swinging. Mm -mm -mm. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Ant. I had uncle, I had aunt, or uncle wasn't even up there, so... Yes! Let's see if you're right. Ant. There we go. It's on the board. Cool. Yeah. What's your answer? Uh-huh. Relative. Girlfriend is not going to be up there. I'll put it anyway. Said with confidence. Not really. Is it there? That's your first strike. Two more and you're done. Aunt, uncle, sibling, mother-in-law, father-in-law. If you're on a kiss cam at a game, name a relative you wouldn't want to be sitting next to. What does it mean by kiss cam on a game? There we go. Okay, sure. Is that answer good enough? 
mother-in-law. There we go. Very nice. Time for your guess. All right, seven one seven. Aunt, uncle, cousin, 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 I just have a kid. No. Relative. Name a rel- Really now? Ouch! That's your second strike. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Can we fall in off all there? I'll put- Father in law. Father in law. Yeah. All right. The survey says. There's no worry. Father in law. Oh, there we go. Nice. You, you still got a chance. Uh -huh. Yay. If you're on a kiss cam at a game, name a relative you wouldn't want to be sitting next to. Father, I'm gonna try father right now. Are you sure about that? That's all that I don't Is it know. Up there? Anymore. Show me. Father. Hey. This game is not over yet. Yeah. You're still alive. What do you think? See if mother pops up there then. Answer accepted. Let's see if it's up there. Mother. Oh my god. You're still in the game. Yeah, what's that last one? Only one more answer left to find up there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Probably kiss like the game. Every other time you wouldn't want to be sitting next to you. Maybe. I have no idea what that last one is. Name a relative. Grandparents? Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma. I should put Grandpa. Okie dokie. Will this make a clean sweep? No. Let's find out. No. Grandma! Oh, With that, yeah. my friends, is how you clear the board. <laughs> this is what a winning family looks like. Oh my... Let's see how the scores look. I cannot believe that. We've still got plenty of game to go. I cannot believe that. It's time for a face-off. Let's do it. I need a contestant from each family, please. Let's play the feud. This time, the top seven answers are on the board. Alright. Get ready to buzz in. We asked 100 people this question. Fill in the blank to make a good pet name for your spouse. Blank bun. You buzzed in first. Honey bun. I see where you're going with this. Show me that answer. Honey bun. Numero uno. What's it going to be? Lego cats. I'm actually going to pass it. We're passing to you. This is your shot. Don't blow it. Maybe the one since I've ever made, but you never know. What do you think? 
Green bomb. Okay, then. Our survey says... Cream bun. That's not up there. So here's your first strike. No, no, no. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. I have an idea, but they cannot take it. They took it. Understood. Let's see if that's a good answer. Oh my gosh. Cinnamon bun. Ding. That was my answer. There it is. Yay! Hmm. So what's your guess gonna be? Oh. Uh, ah, yes. Time to check the board. Caramel bun. Oh, it's another strike. Oh no. Fill in the blank to make a good pet name for your spouse. Blank bun. Good. Okay. Our survey said hot cross bun. I don't know what that We're is. Still clinging to this game. Play it's on, man. If you get this, the money in the bank is yours. If not, the other family might steal it. Yeah, don't worry. I don't know anything else. All right, let's try it. Did any of our 100 people say it? Chocolate bun. I don't know. Oh no! Strike three. Oh, no. The other family has a chance. I have no idea. The ones I had are gone. The one I didn't have already. Okay, just one answer to steal and take home the points. You could steal all the points with this answer. Sweet bun. It's worth a shot. Did our survey agree? Sweet bun. <laughs> See what you missed. Seven. Sugar bun. Oh. In at six. Big bun. I was counting in that too, but number three. It sounds like me and divorce cards. Sticky bun. Ugh, that one sounds gross. Let's take a look at the current scores. Come on, want to get the fast money, baby? One family's in the lead. The other, well, let's just say they're fighting their time for the moment. Do it. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. Let's go. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. Top four answers up on the board. Time to take it to the next level with double points. You got it. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Which is? Name a word that rhymes with teeny. Your first. Tiny. Teeny tiny. Wait. Teeny meeny. That's what you think, huh? Let's see if that's a correct answer. Meanie! You're on the board, but that top answer is still out there. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Name a word that rhymes with teeny. Sure thing. Teeny bikini. Did our survey say it? Bikini! That's not what we're looking for. The decision is yours. Will you play or pass? This might be bad, but I'll try. Let's go. This time they want to play. Got an answer for me? Oh. 
Sweeney. Feeling lucky? Hopefully. Is that answer up there? Sweeney! There we go. Superb! Oh, yeah. It's your go. What do you think? Tinny. 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 I have no teeny winning. Teeny mini or Aerotrack mini. Well, you couldn't think of anything. Okay. What in the world? Name a word that rhymes with teeny. Uh -huh. Teeny. 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 Teeny, teeny, teeny. And our survey says no, 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 no. Fettuccini. Uh, please don't go through. Thank gosh. No. Did I win? Yes. Our leading family are adding some big points to their big bundle. What are the answers we didn't find? And number four, please. Genie. Here comes number two. Beanie. Let's see who won this thing. At least I won this time. That's what I wanted to do. You're our big winner. Congratulations. You folks are moving on to our final round. Time to say so long to the leaves. Yeah, baby. Let's see how fast money works in this one family actually there. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. I need two people. It's the captain's prerogative to pick a first mate. Who's it gonna be? Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with A. That's a fine choice. You're both gonna do great. Oh, okay. You're up first. You'll get 
five questions, and you'll give me the most popular answers for them in order to score the biggest amount of points. If you and your buddy can get 200 points or more, you'll take home the big bucks. Start the clock. Name something that gives you an upset stomach. Name a way you can describe a mattress. Name a kind of pet you had during your childhood. A dog. Name something you hang on to for dear life. Uh, for me it wouldn't be this, but unless it's a picture for alligator, dear me. Name something that supports you. Parents. That's it. There we go. We're going to switch over now. You're up next, and things are a bit more challenging now. You've got to answer the same questions, but you can't say anything that's already been said. If you do repeat an answer, I'll ask you for another. Your time starts now. Name something that gives you an upset stomach. What about stomach flu? Oh, stress. Name a way you can describe a mattress. Hard, soft. Something different? Okay, that's what firm means. Soft. Name a kind of pet you had during your childhood. Cat. Name something you hang on to for dear life. Cash. Name something that supports you. Uh, your body. I got, I've already got parents. Child benefit. That's everything. I'm not, we're not going to get this 20,000. Everyone take a breather. That's all the questions. Let's bring both contestants on stage and find out how you did. Ooh, here we go, both. How's that going? That's going to be good. For starters, we asked, name something that gives you an upset stomach. You answered, let's see what the survey says. Just one of those answers scored some points. Spicy food! Ah. That was our top answer. Question two. Name a way you can describe a mattress. And your answers... Food didn't count. Ah. Impressive answers here. We nice. found the most popular one. Apparently, that's okay. You remember the third question, right? It was... Name a kind of pet you had during your childhood. What were your answers? These two are looking good. You're so yeah. close. The suspense is killing me. Question four, we asked. Name something you hang on to for dear life. You said. You ought to be happy with those answers. We've got a top answer. For the final question, we wanted to know, name something that supports you. The parents ain't the this is how you answer. The parents ain't the this is for all the marbles. Oh, we right. Thank gosh we got it. Yes. You earned yourself an impressive victory. get 20,000 smackers to take home with you. Now don't spend it all in one place. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye.
That was actually really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Come on, you're not gonna leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch? If I do, it's not gonna be with the whole family. All right. Let me say something here. Complete event. We are going to complete ten games. We're going to win a classic for easy. Above win a classic on medium or hard difficulty. Play a party with 10 players. The team is second place with more fast money and party power. Play online game you want to do that. We can know one thing. Buzz it during the phase of a few questions to see if you can get the top and the other one. Oh, I've done that already. Huh. Oh! Actually, I want to say something. Is there anything else we can do? What can we do? Can we try it this way? I have to do it this way. Oh yeah, here we go! It might seem dumb, but let's try it real quick. You. I'm not doing anything. This will be the last one I'm trying, guys. Yeah, that'll work. I want to see how a co-op mode works. Or, or, I mean, um, a battle against another person. Good evening, and welcome to the Family Feud. How are you doing at home? I'm Lucky McCoy. Thanks so much for coming here to the feud. Oh man, this is gonna be it. Let's get things started by meeting our feuding family. You gonna say anything different for this one? Somebody's going in alone today. Don't worry, friend. I've got your back. Well, what about the other one? Standing alone today. So it ain't anything different. Wow, okay, so it's not something different. Here's how we're gonna play. Both teams will fight it out to find the best answers to our survey questions. Whoever scores the most points gets the upper hand in our final round, Fast Money, where the winning family will take home a huge cash prize. Now that we're all here, how about we play some Family Feud? Why is this different? Why is this different? Huh. Let's kick things off with our first round. I'm gonna need one person from both families to join me up here. How is it gonna be any different? I mean, we're having these. Oh, this is gonna be weird. How is this gonna work? We want the top four answers to this question. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, You'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Oh. Name something people buy, use, and then return. You're up first. What do you got? Stop. I want to enter in something. There we go. Alrighty then. Could it be there? Movie. Nothing for that one. You can do it. What do you think? We have an answer. Let's check the board. 
par. Looks like he finally struck gold. You're on the board. Decision time. Will you play or pass? Uh, no, I... You want this round all to yourself, huh? What? Dig deep and think of an answer. Uh-huh. I'm having an outro. Got it. Is that one of the ones we've got left? Are you serious? Good going. Yay. There's two still remaining. Huh. I have no idea. I want to see that answer. Trash! You hear that noise? That's a strike. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Name something people buy, use, and then return. It ain't popping up. Here we go then. I was gonna go with book. It's a library book. Is that one of the remaining answers? Bottles. We are nearly there. Woo. Guess what? We need an answer. Um. Interesting answer. Let's see what the survey says. Pet. Ouch. Another strike. There's only one answer remaining. Again, I have no clue what the last one is. You're passing on this one. The other team is in with a chance. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. Name something people buy, use, and then return. It's not going to be up there. But... I have no idea. Oh no. I may actually quit the round. Oh wait, it won't let me. Crap. Why do I think this is a good idea? Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Fine. I have no idea what that last one's gonna be. I might not worry about it, to be honest with you. Uh, we have about, let's see what time it is. I mean, granted, I'll play points sometime, but I think it's getting a little bit too hot up here. And, oh my gosh, it's actually kind of late right now, too.
Yeah, it's getting kind of late, guys. I was just hoping things would work out with that. For now, y'all hang out with you again, maybe tomorrow the next day, buddy. One, it's getting hot up here, and I'm worried if I try doing it now, I'll end up getting bored. So I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, bud? I love you, though. You're so pretty and precious. But, yeah, guys. Tell you what I'll do. Because we've been having problems with Family Feud in the last little while, I will try playing one game of Wheel of Fortune. However, if we run into the same issue that we ran into during the video I tried doing the other night, there probably will be no longer any more videos of Wheel of Fortune. This will be a test right here to see if it works. I have a feeling it won't, but you never know, so... I know it's things we're to do on this one, guys, but, um, like I said, we got I was trying, I'm trying to see if it works properly. Alrighty. Well, I say, I don't know if it's going to work or not. If it does, man, I'll come back and start doing this game a little bit more. But I think most likely it's not going to happen like that. I'm only with the prizes as they are. I did change them for the thing I did last time, but you'll see that all the prizes I put on there whenever I actually, whenever the game actually starts. I'm not gonna worry about wasting time here. Prize if I'm gonna do it at all, it's only gonna be one game. So yeah, that is if it lets me go through an entire game without messing up. So without wasting any time, we're gonna go and see what we can get done. Like I said, we're gonna leave everything that I tried putting on there before. See, like, here's all I see on the second round, but me, it messed up. I'm being serious, it did mess up. I'll try, we'll try it one more time, guys, if we have that same problem again, we're not going to be playing anymore, okay? Don't mess up, or else I'm not playing anymore. Alrighty, here we go. Let's play the feed, I want to play the feed, we're not playing the feed anymore. Easy. More than 10,000 people try out each year and fewer than 600 get on the show. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know if we're going to have luck for it to work, guys. We'll have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the stars of America's Game. Hello, everyone. How are you? Good to see so many people here. I hope they're all well. Let's see what happens. As you see, there's the car I chose when I did this last time, so, yeah. How are you doing today? Well, I'll take that as a break. I'm sure you're ready to get started. It says here, well, it, it doesn't say much. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Hmm. Silent type, I see. Thank you for joining us today. Your outfit looks quite interesting. You must have visited the customization menus. It's time for a toss-up round for $1,000. The category is characters. Character? I should think you and I wish. It would be kind of cool. Well, I said, guys, I've had problems with, like, not letting me type in the letters I want to type in. So if it's going to be like that, it's going to be an end to it. Contestant number one, we saw Fred and Wilma v w Flintstone. I know it's the Flintstones. Flint, so in. It's moving right now, boss. It would not move the other day. Oh, 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 oh. It's trying to, it's not moving up fast now. Here we go. There we go. Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Are we ready for another toss-up round? The amount is $2,000, and the category is food and drink. Alright, what we got? Blueberry. Contestant number one, please solve. Blueberry yogurt. Please keep moving. Blue, there's the U, down there. Blue berry yogurt. Ain't it you? Yep, that's it. 
As much as I enjoy standing here, I'm ready to get the show started. I think it's time to start this round. The category is Before and After. Right. Let's get this round started with the first spin. Alright. I like, you know, I will say I like the spin, but <laughs> of course, yeah, that is some puzzle that's true I right now. Get out of there! We're good. 700. So far we're not having problems, we probably will sometime. We have one I guess you'll be playing for dinner tonight. I guess so. Five fifty. Right, let's do the same order I always do. Yes, we have some S's. Perfect. Well, that's a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Either I'm going to miss, or it's going to be a bankrupt. Almost six fifty. Yes, we have some R. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. I have no idea. Six hundred. Trying to end? I ain't gonna be like this. It's having problems already. Do we have any of those? I was no. I'm sorry. I was moving and didn't do anything. Is that gonna come through the bank there? It's a free play. You have a free play. So take another spin. Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. Thank goodness gracious. Wild card. That's the wild card. We have one help. Wow, go ahead and take that one. Frick off. Five hundred. Will we get any help on this? Z. It seems we're out of luck. Are you an idiot? Wow, twenty-five hundred dollars. Do we have any of those? Nope. No. I'm sorry. I'm going to spin the wheel. I don't lose everything. Oh, it did look. 700. Alright. See? Unfortunately, that's not what we need. If you'd like to buy a value, we have one. Mm. I have no idea what this is. 600. No, we don't seem to have any of those. Good. Don't deserve any. Oh, 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 oh. Eight hundred. We have one. I guess we'll be paying for dinner tonight. You can certainly buy a bottle. We have one pie. Something's set. I was in that Boy. He's gonna hit it. No, nope. 700. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Oh boy, what is this? I don't know. I'm gonna last one soon now. Ah, not quite the trick. 650. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. What if I have taken D, but it didn't what work? What vowel would you like? We have one E. We are excited with this. Somebody is. It's so close. Wow, $2,500. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. We certainly got the money. We have one A. You can certainly buy a vowel. Yes, we have some O's. Solar, solar power suit. Contestant number three, go ahead.
To be honest, I wasn't sure how you were going to solve this one. No sense in hanging around here. Let's go ahead and get going. Let's go ahead and start the round. The category is Think. Contestant number two, go ahead and take the first spot. Which again, you don't deserve. Paper up. No. Nope. 700. Yes, we have some animals. That's a lot of money to work Go bankrupt. Not a car! Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. No! Stop. Someone is lucky today. We could have another one million dollar winner soon. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Thank goodness gracious, I'm gonna spin the wheel. This is close! Prize! Hey, there we go. Wasn't gonna be a T up there. We have one T. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect, perfect. Did you pick up that one? Alright. Now we gotta win some other than a bankrupt or whatever, and I can make a trip to France. Don't you dare! It looks like things are not in your favor right now. I'll have to take that back. Seven hundred. We have one two. I guess you'll be paying for dinner. Oh crap. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Stop going for the car! We have one help. Wow, good job! Stay on sight of that car to the doors! What you don't need? Oh, oh, 700. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Again, thank goodness. Come on, gang, give me some money or a prize and then freaking uh, let me keep it. 700. We have one S. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. It's too close. Just didn't make it this time. I'm sorry. Yes! Ouch! Bankrupt is always a painful one. What vowel would you like? Yes, we have some eyes. If anybody needs a freaking bankrupt, it's you. That daggum car thing. Oh my gosh, you can win the flipping car! Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. You could just won that flipping car. Six fifty. Yes, we have some R. Good job. Keep that going. You'll be heading home a winner tonight. Now that freaking uh, wheel is gonna be a ball to me. Your ball has been a your wheel has been a ball. Your wheel has been a ball to me. Six fifty. C. We have one C. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Got it. I'll do one more spin and buy a bow to you. Unless the wheel does what it does best and freak me. 
Ouch. Bankrupt is always a painful one. This real flippin' hates me. We have one in. A one thousand dollar gift. 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 This gift is worth one thousand dollars. A one thousand dollar gift. This gift is worth one thousand dollars. Oh no! Nine hundred. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. I may certainly buy a vowel. Yes, we have some O's. Oh, I know what it is. I just not spelling it properly. Lose a turn. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an unlucky spin. Mayor. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to earn some cash. I need a pay. It's a romantic marriage proposal. Yes, we have some keys. Well, would you like to flip the mystery wedge? You might find ten thousand dollars under there, but you might also go bankrupt. I'm not gonna risk it because I know the puzzle. I'm not gonna lose it. Good job. Keep that going, and you'll be heading home a winner tonight. I'm not. I would have risked it if I did. If you think you know the answer, please go ahead. Is it A? It is. It definitely ain't no O. So yeah, that's it. Romantic marriage proposal. Wow, that is incredible! How did you come up with that? We have a prize round now. The winner of this round will also be getting a free prize. You all ready? The category is phrase. Contestant number three, why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? We already talked a question because, well, not a question. It's so close. Ha! Wow, I am very sorry. Just try to keep positive thoughts now. Six hundred. T. We have one T. That's a fair bit of cash. We have one S. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. Yeah, now if I just keep it. Stop! Stop! No! Keep going! Ouch! Bankrupt is always a painful one. This wheel loves to frick me at the bottom! Six fifty. Yes, we have some agents. What? That's a lot of money, you want. What should? If you'd like to buy a bag, no. yes, we have some E's. Have. What should we? Five hundred. Yes, we have some W's. Don't that all at once. Five fifty. Do we have any of those? Oh, 
No, I suck. Yes, we have some L's. What shall we have for... That's a right. fair I bit of cash. I think I know... I think I know what it is. I need to get money out of this dog. 550. Do we have any oh of those? Oh my gosh. No. I'm sorry. I need a V. I need a D. I think it's... A what shall we have for dinner? There we go. Give me a V. We have one V. I know you must be excited to go hop in that car and drive, but we still have some of the show left, so hang on. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Oh. 700. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. Come on, I need cash. Look right. I can look right. Oh my God, there's another car. I thought it was going on something. Six hundred. We have one F. Well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Please, just don't win. I'm looking bankrupt. I'm going right in the bankrupt. Don't you dare! You better stop. I swear to Frank. Thank you. Six fifty. Yes, we have some R. Good job! He's back going and you'll be heading home a winner tonight. Frick this, I'm not even going to try to spin again. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? There you go. What shall we have for dinner? Wow, you made that look easy. Congratulations, you're going to Italy. Come with us on a trip to Italy and experience the warm and sunny Mediterranean climate, the ancient sights in Rome, and the wonderful food. It's $7,320. It's time for a toss-up round for $3,000. The category is, what are you doing? See my hunting. No. Are you ready to solve contestant number one? Cutting my long hair. Got it. Shall we go ahead and start the round? The category is proper names. Here we go. I'm going to give the wheel another spin. Alright, I'm going to go with a T. We have one T. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? I have no idea what the problem is right now. Yes, we have some old. Wait! No, it's not. Contestant number two, would you like to solve? I thought I was about to be Lee, Lee Lowe, uh, Lee Lowe and Lilo. Lilo and Stitch. That's not it. Contestant number three, 
Contestant number three, your chance to solve. S. We have one S. Well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Good. R. Do we have any of those? No. I'm sorry. Alright, fine, fine, fine. No, we don't seem to have any of those. We have one E. <laughs> Contestant number three, would you like to solve? And unfortunately, that's not what we need. We have one B. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. Contestant number two, your chance to solve. Yes, we have some H's. That's a lot of money you won oh, there. I know it! Please don't solve. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Good. He doesn't know it. I know it. I know it. We need a W. We need a W. We have one W. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. HBO and Showtime. Wow, that is incredible. How did you come up with that? Holy crap. Our lucky contestant looks eager to start the bonus round, so let's get over there. Yeah, let's do it. Please follow me over here. Yep, let's do it. TV title. I think you know the letters. R, S, T, L, N, and P. -E. Let's see what kind of help you can get. Contestant, please, would you give us three consonants and a vowel? C, D, I want to do the usual. I was pretty sure you were going to get that one. Criminal minds! We only have a short amount of time, so go ahead and solve. Now it's only if I know how to spell criminal. I hope that's how I spell it. That's not how you spell it. You need an I. No, uh, is it? How do you spell criminal? I know what it is, but crim. I may have to look up. I, oh, good. I can't pause. I may have to ask Google how to spell criminal. I know it sounds stupid, but I uh, so am I. So let me ask Google how to spell criminal. I know what it is. I just don't know how to spell criminal. How do you spell criminal? Criminal is spelled C R I M I N A L. C R I C R I M M M. Oh no! I I I M M. I, that's it. Okay, let's see what you got. Are you ready to drive home in a new car? Oh my gosh, I got a car out of it, really? Oh my gosh, 70,000!
I'm quitting. I told you guys I've only do one game. Wait, what's new? What customization? Oh, contestant. Right, okay, what in the world? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Alright, guys. I know it seems weird to do that during a family feud video, but that's alright. This actually may be a good thing, because my mother is supposed to be taking the interrupter to a um, movie, so maybe this will give me a chance to do something. So, yeah. I don't know if Kaboom and Porn's going to come up again, guys, but I promise you it's going to not be too much longer. Well, I said I talked about these projects. I talked about some projects I need to go back to in the beginning of the video. So you have plenty, you have stuff to look, stuff to look forward to. So, yeah. But I'm gonna go end it off, guys. I gotta go ahead and get ready to go down. It's gonna be hard enough to get everything down those stairs. So I'm not really gonna waste any more time. The interrupter and all that should be at the movies right now, so hopefully it won't, or may not at the movies, but maybe we should be on their way to it. So I'm hoping things will actually work out. Next time we have a video up here, guys, most likely it'll be the Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, Pokemon Sword or Shield, or PBR or something. Alright, well I said if I do anything like pulling hard gold and soft silver, it'll probably be a few months from now because like I said I need the interrupter to be at school for that to work out. And in terms of Sun and Moon, or in terms of Sun and Moon, it's kind of the same situation. I need the time to be down there and use the 3DS, and while they're going to be at the movies, I'll buy time I get down there and get everything done, and upload this video to YouTube, and everything like that. Like there's going to be an end screen on the end of this video, so, yeah. But, whatever, guys. I'm going to go and end off the video, and I'll see you all for the next one. Until next time, everyone, I want you guys to be the very best, like no one ever was. And I'll see everyone for the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everyone.